party. Early to the party? Late to the party. Late. Oh, hello. It's Friday. Hey. We're late. I'm late. Whoever, somebody's late. It was me. But we are here. We are here. Happy Friday. Cat butt right off the bat. Yep. Just knocking off the bingo squares. Both Aww. cats. Oh, you're TV. Hi, TV. Both cats have already made an appearance. Hopefully, everyone's doing well. Thank you, everybody. We finally got our shirts and they will be shipping out. Yeah, now. 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 Everything. Thought I had a solution before with shipping, and then I was mistaken. Not Nicole's fault. But we've got our own little shipping setup in the house now. It's fancy. Yeah. What's up, Chibi? You just want... She's well, the old lady kitty. The old lady kitty is still kicking. She's... Yeah. Every... You never... We. It's like a... It's like a daily, like... Is today the day? Is as terrible as that sounds. Yeah. But... She's had a lovely life. She has had a... a but she's... Like, she's going to make another turnaround this time and come back from it. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> so, I had put in the thumbnail for this week that I was going to do a little bit of work on the carnivore and then my son Riker says hi hello it's a cute name we're going to throw some new shocks on this this week fish belt needs you to email him a logo I know for need to do that what I can't remember Jeremy told me something but will you remind me you're good with remembering things <laughs> Buenos Dios. Dias. Don't block him. He's one of ours. <laughs> Just saying. Urban Legend Scalers, thank you for the donation. Working on the mini Capra at the moment while watching my favorite scale couple. What if we were a scale couple? What does that mean? What if we were that big? Oh. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? What I was like, I don't even know what that means. Like, if you were into scale or. No. <laughs> no, if they oh, were actually uh, scale. Phoenix is saying, hey, remember that thing? Uh, we need to modify something on his order. So, FYI, don't let me forget. I have the details in my phone. Um, I need to take this. That's fine. Go for it. So, six shirts. Hers, I assume you mean. Okay. They're for sale, finally. They're on the website. They're good and going. Thankfully, that's done. Uh, so, anyway, cheers, everybody. Happy Friday. The cats are all over the place already. Uh, so, anyway, what I'm going to be doing is this has the original incision shocks on it, as you can see there, uh, with no springs on it. But that's not how I ran it. I always ran springs. So I'm going to be building up a set of the new incision shocks, but with all the fun goodies. I'm just building them from the aftermarket parts uh, rather than starting with the uh, shock part, the shock kit, and then replacing everything. So, hey, all good? There are sookies. Things that I was waiting for all day. Just got here. There you go. <laughs> so there's a chance for a money shot tonight. What did I uh, walk back into? Oh, goodness. Me building shocks is what they're referring. Oh, good night. To. What's the angle of front end that's on that truck? What is the what? I got my Betty in 12 pens. <laughs> <laughs> the angle of that front end. What's the angle of front end? That's I don't know what you mean, Rick. What's the angle of front end? Please re, re Adam restate what you mean. Um, Is Adam starting shit? No, or? he's worried about Mahomes. We're all worried about Mahomes. Oh, okay. Not Camber. Checking in from Missouri. Oh, you're what's the caster? Um, cat one, cat two, cat girl, Coca Cola. <laughs> so 
saw what happened to Matt's or what happened to Matt's earth roamer. Oh my god. So Matt built yeah, I custom, and he like sent it back to Traxxas to like put in their store and like display. Wow, that was nice of him. And then somebody sold it to somebody. Like one of the employees sold it to somebody who came in and asked to buy it. I guess. And they were like, yeah, here? Like, sure. And they just pocketed the money? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like, oh. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty, pretty nuts. Uh, brief history of this rig. I'm not familiar. Uh, sure. So the uh, origin of the full size is why I like this truck so much. On the original, remember when BFG had all of those, the magazines and posters, they had the ads in them that were like uh, kind of a monochromatic look. There was like an orange ad, but and then, you know, the car was in black or it was purple and black. This, what there was one called the Carnivore, and it was on the original BFG poster for the BFG crawlers for these tires when oh, they really? originally came That's out cool. in like 2004 or Wait, so. Wait, what truck is this? It's called the Carnivore, the full size one is. Oh, have and you then, had this for a long time? I've had this for several years. Hmm. UC Fab built one for himself back in like maybe 2016 or so. Um, and then I got did some, some news coming on new carnivores next week. Ultra Custom Fab says, "Hey, look, there, there is Ultra Custom Fab." Uh, oh, you, he's the one who built this. He built one for himself, and then I, later down the road, when I was doing some stuff with him, uh, but he also, asked about, "Hey, I'm like, hey, I'd like one of those." So at this point, there's only ever been two made, his and then mine. But he does all the best ones, right? Yeah. Like the so best, right. Yes. Ah, oh, so it's soon. It's special, special, super special. Um, I've had it since then. It's it's just always been, it, it was the car that we released the F9 uh, portals on for the, you know, the from the bank, from Vanquish. Um, Wait, Toad Daddy was camping in his house? That sounds like so much fun. You do, we do that, don't we do that every night? Ray Urbina, nice to see you, sir. Yes. I'm so glad everyone who showed up here right always that's the point right yeah <laughs> run the ppe places here and i've now been using mine <laughs> my j has been acetoning without a respirator oh that that might make uh, his comments make more sense <laughs> <laughs> make the stream a lot better that's for sure <laughs> um now that you have dressers, it's a bit less like camping. That's, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Doing my first print on my new Prusa 3D printer, where is the best place to get files that don't take much time slicing since I'm new? So slicing doesn't have to be that that difficult. Um, Thingiverse is great. If you go to my website, um, I've got... HarleyDesigns.com. HarleyDesigns.com. Um, there's a couple of links on there. I've got a ton of free files that you can go download off of my Thingiverse, which is linked on my website. Or I also sell files in case you have a truck you want to buy like a uh, internal cage for. But I've got a ton of free ones that are very easy to print. They're all designed to be printed. And they're all like scale accessories and stuff. So check that out. Mm, you got eight. Oh, they got, I forgot they got so much snow over there. On Who? The southern side. Eight inches in Springfield area. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez. Oh yeah, it's about like licking tape oh, or something else. Never mind, it was funny. Puffing and acetone. Uh, yeah, Iowa RCL is in here. Hello, hello. You can also get some pretty snazzy shirts on Harley Design site. Oh, can't. DLC, slightly disappointed I haven't seen Thick Boy designed by Nicole T-shirts on the site. I'm patiently waiting. <laughs> ben, you should be used to giving Josh money. <laughs> Wait, what's Ben doing? Nancy saw the shirt on Nicole and now I have to get her one. <laughs> Phoenix, I got all the good tape. What's more rare than a purple wheel signed by Josh in Wheels of Fortune is getting a truck of fortune signed by Josh with purple wheels. My brother was so lucky. <laughs> that is a, that's a great draw. And uh, that's pretty awesome. Oakland in the half Super Bowl Sunday crawl in the morning at Mount Diablo. Oh. <gasps> Josh 
Joshua Hoare. Holy cow, I finally figured out how to chat, how to switch profiles. <laughs> hey, glad you're here. Glad you figured it out. So glad you're here. There's so many things you'll have to catch up on now. So you remember three episodes ago, what I really wanted to say then was... Josh Lloyd, thank you for the donation. Saturn 5, good evening guys. Question, Axel Bomber 2.0 shock upgrades. Any suggestions? Thanks. Proline Pro Specs. Proline Pro Specs are my favorite bomber shock upgrade. Um, or, and the, you have to get the... Slash. Oh, I always screw this up. You want the four inch long ones, and I think that's slash rears. I think slash fronts are three and a half, and the rears are four inch. So the pro specs are my favorite. The power strokes are a close second, and they're cheaper. That's. Oh, hey. so, but if you if you want to want to pop for the extra, those <laughs> pro specs are legit nice. Um, why, why, we need a shirt with Harley Designs logo on the back and wiggle on the front? Why? <laughs> I, just, I say wiggle, wiggle a lot. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. I know, that's why that, every time I hear that song, or that, you know, TikTok thing in the background, first of all, I've watched all of that guy's documentary, so like, I know his voice. What guy? The guy who says the song, that wiggle, wiggle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and then, my money don't, but I think he says jiggle, jiggle. My money don't jing and it's actually supposed to be jingle jingle. Okay. Like okay. chain. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I. And it makes me think of it because you always say that. Yeah, we go, we go. <laughs> Urban Legend Scalers, thank you for the donation. Hey, Josh, can you do magic and create more? Am I yelling? Room inside my mini Capra for all my wires and make them not run into my Holmes 380 revolver. Sad face, crying face. Yeah, I uh, I know what you mean there because that's a that's a real world problem. Even the regular Capra is kind of a bitch. Um, where do you find drivers? I need a dude for my Phoenix. I love. When I will not be any help for music. you, there. Daniel Curtis, thanks for a donation. Thanks for a shout out on Wednesday. Question: hey, To change the color of the Phoenix cage, do I have to dye it? So you can't dye black plastic. So no, you can only dye lighter color plastics. Um, so it is already black, therefore it will Just always nine inch men. <laughs> it will always be black unless you paint it. Okay. That should be where's gutter? That should be his code. No. That should be your code tonight. Google nine inch men. Oh, there's a fight. Idiots. Wow. <sighs> Just got my trucks of Fortune Phoenix portals built. Would you suggest a shock upgrade to increase travel? Um, Mom's not home on the TV tonight. <laughs> the RC boy too. <laughs> That's the best thing. <laughs> you can dye black plastic as long as you dye it black. Wait, Gunner's gone and his mom? Just wondering. You might have a new stepdaddy. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. I googled kidding. it and all I got was Trent Reznor. <laughs> oh, God. oh, okay. My shocks went to the outside of the sway bars. Wow, a cat fight that overcame the noise filter. Yeah. I would love to tell people that it's not like this all the time. It's just every once in a while when we turn the stream on. But Oh, it's always like this. Can you imagine if we were parents? We'd be those parents whose kids were just yelling and they just unfazed. I would have unfazed. free range children for sure. Just completely unfazed by yeah. their kids being absolutely obnoxious. Oh, actually, no, I would never. I'm never. You know, we're like in public, though. In public, I would be like, you want to go to the bath? You want to you go out to the car? <laughs> <laughs> like I do that with Josh in the store sometimes. Like, you want to go to the car? You need to relax, Josh. You want to go to the car? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I always do. Stop asking me. Bucks RC World. Sorry for the total noob question, Josh, but just three gear transmission for the VS410 mount to the Phoenix chassis. Don't ever be a. Yes, Sorry it can, but you have question. to change the skid plate. It's a direct swap on the skid plate. Super easy. Um, I'm not sure if you'll have to like modify the battery tray a little bit or not. What the hell was that? That was a new one. Is someone barfing? <laughs> are you going to barf or are you just being weird? I think she's just being weird. Did you eat a magnet? Like, what is happening? <laughs> I saw a rare earth magnet on the floor the other day in the kitchen. I was like, oh, that would be such an expensive vet bill. Let's not do that. 
<laughs> yeah. That's no kidding. Urban Legends scalers, thank you. You are an urban legend. So Josh knows, but Nicole, you don't. I had twin boys almost six months ago, and I named Bo and Luke. Mm -hmm. Coming for my heart. Goodness <laughs> gracious, how cute. GC Coop two, ten dollars. Thank you. So happy, Matt and. Matt the Elf and Santa Slay showed up today. Just want to say thank you again for doing a Christmas build and giving us the option to own it. This will be a cherished piece in my collection. Pretty awesome, huh? So awesome. You're a doll. I N love you. Nicole uh, Nicole liked the the Santa Slay. Oh, Santa Slay was my favorite. Yeah. Santa Slay was, was my absolute favorite. It was like... And, and fun fact, the uh, first video that I think Nicole has ever filmed. He actually held the camera for the running video. He did. First time ever. You could just stick her to the fridge for a timeout. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend whose twins are named Jameson and Jenna. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> what size tattoo battery you use for comp? Our uh, good um, friend Joe's here. Uh, I use like 450s or 650s usually on six or on. 3S side, uh, 4S is the same usually, 450 to 650, sometimes up to 800 milliamp, but that's like kind of max. So. Um, that's why the filming turned out better than usual. <laughs> yeah. I need to read. When are you guys going to upgrade to dogs? <laughs> <laughs> dogs are the responsibility level of children in my opinion um yeah that's the we can just leave the cats for like a few days you just be like yeah. they're fine even Excellent. though we even though we still like we say that but we're like have a H house sitter yeah we're like oh, yeah, actually like, just yeah. come just make sure that they're okay and like just be there and that'd be great yeah wow the pack mule got promoted to amateur filmmaker <laughs> i don't trust dogs i don't trust unconditional love so Alex, <laughs> telling you what, I know, they just <laughs> do what you want them to do whenever you ask. <laughs> Robbie like, has a Great Dane. I, I do love a Great Dane. Yeah. I, I so don't does not love, Phoenix does too. We I don't, don't not love dogs. I love dogs. Yeah, we. I mean, we both like dogs. We just don't want to dogs have to best. have one. <laughs> like, like be cool if you had one and I just get to see the it every once in a while. DLC pack costs significantly less than kids. I don't know. Yeah. If that uh, one. Downloadable content. It's a video game. He's making a joke. Oh. Oh, you know, actually, you should know this because you buy more DLC than anybody I know. Micro purchases and again, I'm Boy, like, how much? Gibbler, yeah. thank you for the five dollars. Hello and happy weekend. Which makes a better transmission for a comp crawler, like the three gear VFD. Uh, I run a VFD in all mine. I like that I can put overdrive in there. The motor's forward and low. Uh, you can lighten it up by doing a number of things. But seriously, she buys. I don't play Fortnite. No, I no, just but, play different games. And she like gem packs for no, everything. I, like, I don't like to wait. I don't. I don't drink coffee. It's my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like how many five dollars a week i know oh joshua david that is it not it, it's been worse at times it's been a roll yeah okay they're talking about their animals no one wants to talk about this i'm just saying does your wife have a gem problem is that a blue servo it is it's a uh futaba s9177 sv it's a very nice servo <laughs> i did use your middle name <laughs> um, I was not embarrassed to say that I was like that with Pokemon Go. I mean, Clash of Clans. I spent some money on Clash of Clans. Right. Kind of. Okay, easy. Like, not really, though. I have a dog and a Sue. Oh, I thought you were going to say a dog named Sue. <laughs> Brian, glad you're here. <laughs> yeah. I, I still... I'll still go visit my clash of clans every once in a while and uh, pr BT. prune Thank the trees up. BT, we're glad you're here. Thank you. What's up, BT? Gem all you want. Make the... That 
spot. That's a big gem budget. <laughs> and I don't gem either. I play phase 10, okay? I play card games on my phone. Toxic Crawlers, thank you for the $2. What's Why happening? is Josh not building a terrarium tonight? <laughs> Two of my cousins, about 100 bucks a week on that shit, but they bo they're they both adults and make their own choices. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like... You're kind 10, of an adult. $10 a week would be overkill for me. So, hmm. Oh, see? Thorno is flipping this coin to the nice side and saying, huh, gives me some, gives me some time. So I get to go play with my RCs when she plays on her tablet. Well, there is that. Remember, only long links can be sketchy. <laughs> Short ones. All right, yeah. <laughs> When's the ground box that um, you're releasing? BT, we will ship your shirts out this week. We just figure it out this weekend. weekend. This weekend. Yeah, this weekend. Yep. Oh, hi, Sophie. What's up, baby? You mad about it? Does VP sell knuckles that will work with the VP RBX Rift AR114? Not currently, no. What, Sucky? Is Mahomes going to choke this? No. Mahomes is going to Mahomes it. He's going to figure it out and he's going to move fine. But he's going to move fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's going to be fine. We moved our line around. We're the favorites again. Really? Yeah. Wow. How'd that happen? Uh, we moved our... Hi, Suki. So we're building... At least, yeah. Thank you, Frank H., my friend. At least Josh doesn't spend money on RC. Five dollars a week, you... <laughs> Now her gem problems reside in her diamond paintings. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't need. I, it sounds expensive. Whatever it is. Urban Lund Skillers, thanks again for the donation. Will there be incision drive shaft for the UTB18? Oh, I don't know. Travis Gilmore, those are fighting words. We're coming up against the Eagles. Kelsey against Kelsey. It's going to be amazing. Get over it. Bang, bang, out of the oh. game. Brian Sherwood, thank you for the donation. Can can you run a twenty four skill in a terrarium, Josh? Ed Camino seventy nine, thanks for the ten dollars. So my favorite Friday night couple just got in and jumped on. Nice to see you both knocking on each other. <laughs> nice to see you here. Thank you, sir. Um, Josh totally had a terrarium and it was super I do, fun. I and it was a blast and he loved it. I don't know. Can I build something small out of wood? No. Are you? remembering that correctly i don't know that i had a terrarium josh i, I bought you moss for it and it was a whole conversation about a specific kind of moss that i had to get for this mother loving terrarium uh, thank you oni every baggy ovens worth a hun hundreds of gems josh <laughs> can't be critical <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can run one in my 40 gallon terrarium. Ooh. Ryan Davis getting a new counter and top for his hobby room tomorrow. Amazing. Ooh. What Jeremiah's kind of counter? Three year old is top. visiting and he let him drive his VS410. He smashed it into a, the washer and stripped out the shock mount. Oh, shit. <laughs> MKRC Builds and Products. Thanks for being here. Greetings to you. Holmes Hobby just posted a Tug Buddy quickie video. <laughs> <laughs> I just posted a. Real from that has video from nine years ago. <laughs> Gunner's the uh, Gunner, we were talking about you earlier. What? Well, I'm sad now, Gunner. Thank you. What? Um, oh, what? Cool. Uh, oh, sorry about that, Gunner. Yeah, that's he and I had talked about that. But... This is what I need. Yeah, that's a bummer. Twinkle, I can't. I can't click. Josh said not to click on links. What? The satisfied jerk you want? Oh. Yeah. Diamond painting is paint by number cross stitch, but using plastic multicolored diamonds on a canvas. Whoa, that is. Do you really want to click it? That's a ma No, 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 no. I, I mean, I. Yeah, but like. Wow. That's amazing. I bet that looks so cool. Um. I think I've seen those where you like you, it's Mel. you get a thing. MKRC and builds and products is Mel. Just watching that. What were you just watching on Instagram, Paul? 
<laughs> the one that I posted, I showed you. Oh, God. <laughs> Good morning from <laughs> Germany. <laughs> Guten Tag. I don't, is that how you say? Is that yeah, German? that sounds right. Okay. Is Suits we... still doing bodies? N not that I know of. Not, not that I am aware. So, that... Losi, DBXL E.2.0, your thoughts? Uh, I honestly don't know much about it. Uh, they look cool, but I don't know much about it. <laughs> that was on accident. <laughs> Teleguided, thank you for the donation. Was that Jason Bourne and Joshua David in your last Insta reel? <laughs> I saw that. I was just like, I know, I know, I have an idea. This is one I need to make. Oh, to Pirate Magic, they are not naive at all. So they what? are just. Hmm. He said, Are the people at Holmes naive or do they have a twisted sense of humor? We are very good friends with John Holmes. John Holmes is one of our, our very close, dear friends. So he has yeah. the, our sense of humor. So yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. No, no. No, no. Hello from Greece. Hello. Hello. Oh, all the way from Greece. Yeah. <laughs> Dana will um, blog you, block you if you put a heart emoji, apparently. <laughs> On accident, just kidding. <laughs> um, Joker five one zero seven one four. Thank you for the donation. Hi everyone. That night of the week again. Entertainment always with you too. I look forward to this and Wednesday live streams all week. Suggestions on a VXT two foam setup. First, let me say that's very nice of you to say. And thank you. We look forward to seeing y'all as well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, foam setup. So I run the VXT twos on my comp truck, which is pretty light, and I run softs in both the front and rear. Uh, on heavier trucks, you know, like something like say it's like seven pounds or so, I would go <laughs> medium front and uh, soft rear. If you start getting up over, like if you're eight pounds or more, I'd go to like firm front, medium rear. And I also, I haven't ran the wides in them yet, but I think that I probably would like the wide Crawler Innovations. Um, Wrap therapy with Amanda. She does all her diamond painting crafts. So I think that I've seen these. I got to. Well, you better oh, look it up. Oh, Harley, did you knock the dust off your woofers this year? A little bit. Not a ton. Sookie and Dom versus two ducks besides a Sookie and Dom. Who would win? Well, the human, the ones with thumbs. <laughs> I think. Right, Dale? <laughs> what did he say that was? Crafts with Amanda? Crafts with Amanda. Not that I'm... Coach D's here. What's happening? Never bet against ducks. You're right. You're right. So right. Yeah, I, I tell you, like, people got all, like, saying, like, uh, ducks aren't, br 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 when I started like, comparing them to geese, but people underestimate them. Okay. Yeah, geese, geese are axles. Question. Eight pound rig was running an home hobby crawl master expert with home HW1080, but the motor was, is leaving the chat. Do I go back brushed or go brushless? Oh. That's the, what, did you say what kind of car he's in? Eight pound rig. Um, I, I would tell you, try brushless, you know, um, you know, try a, even if you only want to go like a hobby wing setup, like a fusion, like fusions are fine. They're, you know, they're not a ton of power, but they're, they're nice and smooth and they're pretty low maintenance. Um, you don't have to go with a high end, you know, Polar Pro or anything like that. It's nice if you can, but if you're kind of debating, just try something like a Fusion. Get a 2300. Uh, okay. Um, Josh, my countertop's an island at my parents' house. Oh, he's getting a new countertop from his. Right, that's uh, Ryan. You yeah. Said? yeah, that makes sense. Geese are bastards. Um, no, seriously, do you think Sookie and Tom would have an issue with sharing their residence with two ducks? Because you might be getting two ducks. No. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Not happening. I gotta get a beard. We know. live in a neighborhood, you know. a HOA, you know. and pretty sure it's illegal. They would, there would be a helicopter here in no time. She's not having a duck. No way. No. Um, okay, where are we at? UTB 18 wheel nuts. Barely make contact with bankers hubs. Don't really want to use a washer. Uh, haven't found very wide flange that's suggesting. I don't have a suggestion right off hand for you. Somebody brought that to my attention the other day. Um, and it's something that I feel like I can I should make a new stub axle for. She's not having a duck. She's having two ducks. <laughs> What's your HOA policy on goats? Oh, they're gone though. They, did you notice that? Today yes. they're gone. So in California, they have this, they have herds of goats that they just go put places from time to time to like eat the vegetation. They just move the fence, move the fence. So we have, you know, we had like a couple hundred goats by our house for well we have a goat tracker too it's amazing oh yeah they have an app the goat tracker because i app. see them all over the city oh yeah it's amazing it is kind of cool got my printer set up a week ago and have been printing solid for a week what was what was your site to print accessories um if you go to my website harleydesigns.com then there's links to my parts that i've designed as well as parts that i sell you don't have to buy it. but i have like a lot of freebie ones that link to and my site has a link to my Thingiverse. Okay. So that you could print for a weeks with just the free parts of mine if you wanted. Does aluminum work or disaster waiting to happen for the question you had? For what? Does aluminum work? Yeah, for earlier what you uh, what you answered. I, I have don't no know. idea what I it know. was. I don't, I don't know. Joker five one zero seven one four. Thank you for the ten dollars. Any pissed off bird, airbound, landbound, or otherwise will do some damage if it wants to. But major question: silverback gorilla or grizzly <laughs> bear in an octagon fight? Who would win? Sir. Ooh, silverback gorilla or a grip? Ooh, ah, that's it. I feel like a grizzly would take it, but gr uh, gorillas are big. Man, I still feel like I'm going grizzly. Just for, I mean, they both have gnarly teeth. Yeah, there you go. Grizzly's my final answer. Hmm. And we'll never know if I'm wrong. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Everyone else is, ah, gorilla, gri okay, we can do it. That's a good poll. Grizzly, yeah, there you go. Good work, Joker510. P.S., where is 510 and 714 area codes? Grizzly has those huge claws on those paws. Every ranch in Montana has goats. They will never admit it, but go yeah, goats are super beneficial. Oh, they are, as long as they don't stand on your car. Yeah. A goose would believe it could win. You're right. <laughs> I just, I want the confidence of a goose. I want the confidence of a Canadian goose, always. Yeah, I'm just gonna shit wherever I want and <laughs> feel like I can, just, I can just cross the road right here. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. What are you gonna do, hit me? Yeah. No. Pussy, you're not gonna <gasps> me. North from North joining late. Movie night with the wife and kids. Hello. You're gonna need to run a goat simulator live stream. <laughs> 714 is OC. Rap graphics. Okay. Thank you for the donation. Happy beer o'clock from Australia, Groovers. Australia. Look at that. AWS oh. Australia. That's cute. I like that. I like your group. If you've ever been to Alaska, you will step off the plane and see the sheer size of a grizzly and polar bear. Oh my god, they are big. They just grizzlies are just right off the plane. They're like five tens Alameda and oh, okay, so Almeida Nor and Orange County, NorCal SoCal. All right, a silverback is all muscles and anger. What type of bird would you be? Josh would be a. I feel dodo bird. <laughs> I feel like it'd be something like a cr a crow, like smart but they're useless. They're not useless. They're amazing. You know how much I love crows. Yeah, they'll do it. exactly. I like they can do maybe things. Maybe a hummingbird for sure. It always comes down to thumbs, Alex. <laughs> But yeah, he would be a peacock. Oh, I'd probably be a peacock, though. That's probably what you're saying. Yeah, he'd be a fucking pigeon. 
A gorilla can use a gun. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> Fight is won. Like, Decision made. Gorilla can use a gun. Listen, self-inflicted, or that that you can't rule out how many of those happen. Like the crows from Rapture Palooza. I don't what know what that is. I don't either, Lacos. <laughs> Bears are kind of dumb. Gorillas are smart. Okay. okay. Yeah, but all they have to do is be pissed. Like, that's all it takes. One will be dumb enough to just keep fighting. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. They're not taking a math test. They're trying to kill each other. Oh, we don't talk about such things on this channel. You're silly. It's a hilarious movie. Oh, Rapture Blues is a movie. No. <laughs> that's antagonizing. I picture Nicole as shit talking parrot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm math testing the animals beforehand, says Alex. <laughs> oh, there is also that bear that was on Coke, says Ling Ling Fab. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. What kind of dog would Harley be? Uh, unconditional love? I don't know about that. Just... What would you be? Hmm. <laughs> just a, just a. You'd be the pug. Just a. <laughs> yeah, you would be a pug. <laughs> just... You would be a pug, and you would be like, like everything that you like normal life functions would be a struggle for you like drinking water would try and drown you like that's your life like life everything else is easy but like life functions are hard yeah. like my least favorite thing. yeah like <laughs> oh i have to actually take my Nessus clothes off and put them in a basket not next to the basket on the floor i don't oh except she tried to yell at me about my clothes <sighs> last night she's like oh you almost made it into the hamper. And I looked over and there's like a little embroidered thing. I was like, oh, and I looked down and it was hers. And it was the only thing on the floor. And I'm like, ha, ha. You're stuck, aren't you? Dumb, hmm. dumb. You're going to put your foot right in the green slime. Um, R.E. says hundreds of them might migrate to his area. Hundreds of pugs just migrate in. It's just a loud snoring evening. Half pug, half chihuahua, yeah. <laughs> just just a shivering mess. Just, uh... I accidentally shoe glued some scissors closed. The best part was my dad's bewildered face trying to figure out what was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sancho, salud. Okay, grizzlies are slow. Do VP shocks have green slime? No, I'm just, I have green slime that I'm building with. Um, but no, they do not come with them. Grizzly bears can cover 100 yards in 8 seconds. It's pretty fast. He couldn't be a pug. Pugs will fart in front of you. True. <laughs> <laughs> Did I show you the DNA results for our new dog? Oh my god. What? They all got DNA results in the new dog. Turns out. A hundred percent. All right. Joker 510714. Thank you again. You get a knife, Nicole, versus 10 point bucks. Hand <laughs> to hand combat. Who's winning? Josh is recording content. I would never, as someone who grew up with a respect for hunting and nature, I would never mess with a 10 point buck. <laughs> Not without a gun, that's for sure. Or or like a Honda, at least. Right. Well, <laughs> have you seen the new crawler Alex, AliExpress just released? Probably not. Is it a copy exactly of something else, but done in a much worse way? Because <laughs> I've probably seen the original. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is that noise? This? Have the, do the VP shocks and the VS410 Pro Kit come with oil in them? Uh, no, you need to add the oil to them. Falls apart in the box. 
<laughs> yep. Yep, yep. When it all the bells and whistles. What animals do you think you could take? I would never hurt an animal. You know, I always feel like, I always feel like you're a lot more, <laughs> you got a lot more bravery when it's like in the car. Like, mm. But have you ever had like a squirrel kind of run at you fast? You're like, oh shit. No, no, that I would take. Like, watch out. <laughs> no, our squirrels are aggressive here. <laughs> they uh, they they yell like, at me. Like that, they look a little cagey. It's they like, yell at you. Remember that one was dead in the, <laughs> <laughs> and that one was on the thing, and he was yelling at me. We had a a squirrel die, and get stuck, in uh, so, it uh, I we heard him one day, in our like attic. I'm like, what the. Because in the attic, and I was worried it was a rat or something like that, because that's common out here. And we have fruit trees. So I was like, they probably got it. And I was like, all right. And then we like, didn't hear it the next day or whatever. And then we walked out our front door, and you could just look up, and there was just like a dead squirrel, like halfway hanging over the gutter. What the hell? It had found a way to get under the clay tile roof. And then when it was coming out, it just got stuck. And it was just, and then it just died. Like, Oh, okay. But then the other one was like upset about it, obviously. It was probably like his wife or something. And then he <laughs> was yelling at me from the thing and I, from the house. And I was like, I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> yeah. Josh, why are you building the shocks with the spring on? Because why not? It already helped you. Call the Wild Mike's Pet Control, my girls. See? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Wild Mike's. <laughs> yeah, go fight a mother raccoon and then come tell me how that worked out for you. I would never. I'm just telling you, like. I would never. They get, they start coming at, any of them start coming at you, you're just like, chill out. Like, that was a little. Cool. No, I would kick it in the face. I don't. Rodents are not necessarily <laughs> animals, like. I'm just saying. I was in the car with my friend and she had a squirrel and she started crying. This was like this summer. And I was like. Elena? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> Man, like, I'm kind of sad about it too. And I'm like, not that sad. <laughs> <laughs> that was the 3D printed dick lady. <laughs> yeah. I punch a baby raccoons first, shock the mama raccoons, says Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> what oil did you use before Traxxas? Um, I use a lot of Low-C and AE. Uh, I don't really care. Uh, the Traxxas one, Traxxas sent me their little carousel of it. And oh, yeah, it's that just, was nice. And I just like that. It so nice. And the oil works like oil, so I'm not picky. I just like the little carousel I have. <laughs> Well, what is your opinion on the Pitbull gold batteries with the voltage on the end? I would buy um, cocaine squirrel on Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never used them. Uh, they're made by one of the other popular battery makers, though. So they're a good battery. Um, but, you know, the, uh, the Genzace ones, you can get them on theirs, too. Uh... Or you can get the little battery checker, which is what I use. Is it like the Duracells that you could used to be able to press? Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. So it's like. Wow, that's kind of old school. Can't you just take it into you had to your like, machine? You had to like press it yeah. so freaking hard. And like then it, your was just like, it was just like pressure involved too. Like you would just push it and then that was like how far it would go. It was how far, how hard you pushed. It was like. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the, it was the worst invention. No, that was terrible. Yeah. All they ever got used for was kids, like just trying to, ch like, Ugh. yeah. Oh, for sure. We used the shit out of that, though. Like, <laughs> it was just your toy. Yeah. <laughs> like, my mom was like, here, play with this. Couldn't get a Game Boy. <laughs> let's play with we, this. We got some Duracell. <laughs> he said, why are you filling the oil with the spring on? Because. Why not? Why not? I'm, I can compress it myself. You're either doing it one way or the other. You're either putting the work in to compress it or you're putting the work in to extend it. So. 
it is going to do one or the other. All right. So, and our thing, um, it's pretty split. 54% of people say a grizzly. I'm tell I, I means 46% of people are saying a They're they're freaking back. huge. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What I mean, think. that Jane lady got the silverbacks to calm the f down. So, obviously, they, you know. What was her name? Jane Goodall. Yeah. You're silly. Tony Moss is here. Good evening. Wrenching on the 10-1 CRC Jeep, adding the VP poison spider slides while watching. I'm glad. Um, thank you for taking care of my husband during Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had a lovely time. I'm just mad I didn't get to meet your mom. Because all I want to do is meet Tony's mom. Hmm. She sounds amazing. Uh. So, yeah. Yeah. One. Where's my other shock piston? There it is. It's a plastic. It's a machined plastic, though, rather than the ejection molded one. So it's an upgrade. Why would they machine plastic? Machine plastic all the time. Uh, v necks for women. Yes, they will be on the site. They are on the site. They are on the site. There you go. Good all worked with chimps, not gorillas. Really? Yeah, get it right, Josh. Wait, what was the gor no the what the title of the movie was gorillas. Jane Goodall, what? What? Uh, no. Sorry. Gorillas in the Mist. What? Is it a different lady? Well, I maybe it, maybe she had a movie, but Jane Goodall's the British lady who like worked with chimpanzees and. Okay, whatever. Yeah, you don't know. Who was the lady in the movie? I don't Something. Gorillas in the Mist was okay. Jane. See, <laughs> boom. Okay. Josh is right. I just thought I didn't. I'm howdy, Thetis. Scored a DBXLE today. Time to go balls out on the upgrade. Give me two horses. <laughs> Somebody asked about that either. Can you say that? What balls out? Um, well, no. What? Um, I lost it. I have no idea. Oh, DBX. Someone was asking about your opinion on DBXL. Oh, yeah. And I just, I don't know anything about them. Right. But are they run, They must be running some sort of freaking deal because I've had that question a few times now in like the last week. Hmm. Um, wait on a Phoenix roller as kitted. What? Is that a word? Balls out refers to a steam engine, not male body parts. Thank you, Phoenix. Come on, what do you know? Learn something too. Have you, I've been doing it all wrong this whole time. <laughs> Aaron Brockovich was in it. That's right. She was the gorilla lady. Oh, there you go. Every time we drive through, uh, what, you, what's that little town called? Which one? Aaron Brockovich. Oh, do. yeah. Um, Aaron Brockovich town. Yeah. That's what we say. It's called. It's not. It's. Uh, Someone say it. Something with an F. Weight of Phoenix without wheels and electronics. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's a decent, still good way to go. Does Josh use a V-neck for women? He doesn't. I would, uh... If I wore a V-neck, would you be offended? I would offended? have something to say about it, probably. But... <laughs> men wear V-necks, don't they? Men do. Some men. <laughs> Not you. Just cracked open a cold brew. Cheers, Josh and Natalie. <laughs> Shh. That's Tuesday night. <laughs> I was about to say, who's Natalie? Yeah. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Mistype. It's okay. Not a big it's deal. Tuesday night live. <laughs> That's where you've been. No. <laughs> Anybody get the TWS CJ7? I have not seen one in person yet. If you wear a V-neck, you, you know what? Maybe some people wear V-necks. I don't know. It's very European, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I mean, I just, my husband is not one that is 
fashionable. Fancy. Yes. I, I tried on some of those aviator glasses today, the clear one. Uh -huh. And I was like, look, this girl that I was talking to the whole time, I was like, am I cool enough for these? And she was like, mm, let me see the other ones. So I go, <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I wear V-neck pants. Oh God. <laughs> DK, no. No. <laughs> if, if Josh wears a V-neck, I'll eat a banana on camera. <laughs> you know. Well, we were talking about that on uh, Wednesday. <laughs> some, what? Some... I bet Matt has plenty of V-necks. I bet Matt does have V-necks. Yeah. I... Men can only wear V-necks if they wear the gold chains to remind them where to stop shaving. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Oh, that is pretty funny. Um, we were talking about eating banana on live stream Wednesday. And someone was like, just remember, banana to mouth, not mouth to banana. Like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is, Matt, is Natalie Matt's new identity? Hashtag crystal ship knob. <laughs> Oh, um, we're just gonna start calling Matt Crystal. Do you suggest green slime when building shocks? Poor yes, thing. He, the man Absolutely. doesn't have the crystal ship now. Steve is the one who had the crystal ship now. like, and he's getting so much shit for this. I know, but it will not stop. Like, <laughs> my beard is long enough to hide a v neck, but no, yeah, um. <laughs> You need boobs or pecs to fully take advantage of a v-neck. Okay. You know, I, that's reasonable. As Nicole acts it out. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't picture things in my head. <laughs> I have to like do that. Like I have to. Like, oh, I, I got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> got it. Uh, 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 oh yeah. Got okay. it. I get the joke. I wish I had pecs for my v-necks. I just have boobs. So to Alex. <laughs> I'm like halfway there both both ways. <laughs> You're not though with all this working out, Mr. Spelt. Right? Man. V necks are for non RC enthusiasts like Matt. <laughs> Matt's more of a scale model that I also That boobs, pecs, or chest hair. Well. Okay. I got. That was a visual I didn't need, lady. <laughs> Matt's stage name is totally Crystal Ship Knob. <laughs> Your cats farm mice. Okay. Let me just take the first part of that question. I don't think my cats farm anything. Farm? Yeah. Like, do they? I... For one, we don't, we don't have mice inside. I'm pretty sure I always thought that I didn't have mice because of cats, but then I realized that I had a three foot snake shed in my basement ceiling so <laughs> that was what it was and here i don't know yeah i saw a mouse one time here in our garage oh you did yeah it ran across the back of my cnc while i was running it scared the shit out of me living in my yarn i think that had been gone by now Jeremiah Selberg, thank you for the five dollars. Yeah, so my kid smashed his truck into washer, then right into a concrete wall, wrapping an extension cord on the rear wheels. My kid should trust tech truck durability. Yeah, you know that's that's the same thing we do here. Uh, Brandon's son John, who's four now, five. Gun, did he just turn five? He's about two. When's his birthday? September. Did he just turn five then? Yeah, yeah he turned five. He just turned five. So. uh and yeah, it's basically just give John the radio. There you go. Yeah, that is our, our truck testing. Even though the kids. But now he's getting he's really so good. He's good at everything. He's like so good. Like we went. Five year old like can dirt bike wherever. Like the kid's just amazing. So we went and crawled on uh, last weekend. And he has and, a crawler porch in his backyard. Yeah. And he always wants to drive. He just always wants to drive. Oh, forgot the. Forgot my gasket. Hey Dawson, bossy. Got your gasket. I think I forgot the gasket on the other one too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't you know? Oh yeah. Josh has a V on his hat. If you look at it right, Josh, hold it to your chest. <laughs> <laughs> just, he just. Pull. Oh wow! Look at that tan line though. <laughs> you can tell I don't ever wear a V neck. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Anyone know how it to glows. edit STL files in Fusion 360? Import. Import mesh. Uh, <laughs> my wife loves her crystal knob and her Volvo. I mean Volvo. <laughs> he said that, not me. <laughs> if you see one mouse, that means you have a thousand mouses. Yeah, in, especially in the Midwest. I'll tell you that. My daughter carried her truck off of every trail axle fest Badlands last year. It didn't finish a single one. You know what? <laughs> she's doing it right. <laughs> John, she's doing it right. Yeah, Josh plus V-neck equals blind oncoming traffic. Okay. That's like Jesus. me plus shorts. <laughs> I was like, sorry, everybody. Just so, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Just put your, sun, put your sunglasses on. Heads up. Okay, do I need two mil? Oh, yeah, I like it. I just joined when you guys were talking about boobs and pecs, so going to have to grab one then. Going to be a good one. <laughs> Is he old enough to drink? I bet Josh could shave a V-neck into his chest hair. He could. Yeah. We've had many conversations about yeah. what we could possibly wax and or shave into Josh's chest hair at some point just for the fun of it. The options are pretty much endless. No need for the croc lights. You're right, if you... For my, if I, all I have to do is pull my leggings up a little bit. No need, nobody needs flashlights. No. The Patty Channel, thank you for the donation. Hi from Melbourne, Australia. Nice and sunny Saturday with, the, so jealous. Um, would the Origin Rock Sliders fit on the Phoenix? Want to use an Origin half cap body? Yep. Yes, they will. Everyone needs exactly. welding hoods around me when I'm at the river. Yeah. <laughs> IRL 40 year old virgin. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No. It's exactly yeah. right. Vanquish logo and chest hair. You know how? I bet we could. Let's see how much money we could donate to Whoa. a charity for that. <laughs> <laughs> Not waxing. One of my one of my best friends um, is a guy, and he is bald. Has been since we were like eighteen. He's been bald, and he asked me when I was in school in hair school to wax his head, and I. Is that even possible? Yeah. It is. I said no. I said, absolutely not. I actually like you too much. And I would not do it. And then he so he talked somebody into doing it. And he was like, that was the worst. Yeah, Tim did. And he was like, that was the worst pain I've ever been. And I go, yeah, I know. Yeah. No, I, I tried waxing my chest one time. Nope. 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 Got a quarter of the way. I, I can't believe you got a quarter done. Bleeding. Yeah. The whole thing. You've seen the 40-year-old virgin. <sighs> it's not a joke. I'm glad I, I was never a big... I mean, I did like waxing. I took off when I was learning how to wax eyebrows. I took off um, the like president of the school's eyebrow one time. <laughs> Whoops. That was exactly what I did. I was like, whoop. Then one time, one of I only had four <laughs> girls in my cosmetology class. And I... Leaned over to wax one of the girl's eyebrows, and I drooled on her face, and it came, like, my spit came down and, like, landed, and I went, oh, my God, and she went, what? What did you do? And I was like, nothing, your eyebrow is still there. I just spit on your face. <laughs> she was like, oh, my God, I don't care as long as my eyebrow is still there. Usually I pay extra for that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was like, okay, I'm not an esthetician. <laughs> you are a drooler. I can see how that happens. You, know, you, you I, concentrate for too long and your mouth is open. Just, uh, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> and you're just like, don't say, oh my God, when you're ripping glass off of somebody's face. <laughs> Solid undersell over deliver there, Nicole. <laughs> We just had like 60 people log off. Yeah, so. like, <laughs> what is wrong with them? <laughs> <laughs> if a female gets a Brazilian wax, would a male get a Brazilian? That is a thing. That is that. I, is that is thing. the name. So far, this stream of nine-inch men balls out and spitting on people's faces. <laughs> I don't know what I'm voting for, but Grizzly is an easy answer, says Matt. Who would win? <laughs> The best part about this RC cast is that it doesn't fall into the trap that the others do. Talking about RC. Yeah, like, well, I don't know if they're going to get me again this time. Ah, just kept we talking about it. We won't get you. Hit that like button for all the love we get from Nicole. Thank you, Phoenix. 
hit that like button before you go off to puke. <laughs> I don't often drool, but when I do, it's on your face. <laughs> when you buy a shirt at an event, Nicole will spit on your face for you. <laughs> Not on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, House of Sin, Brazilian is a thing it is. Yep. It is. True story. It is. I can't. They make you get on your knees. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. They got to get it all. <laughs> Did you know that? I've heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it is possible to wax eyelashes, but like, why? Why would you? Yeah, you need those things. It's for them silky smooth poops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Uh. <laughs> okay. So, next topic of yeah. conversation. Fixed that one. We will be lining up in Perlame. Let's try it. <sighs> oh hell no. <laughs> More water. <laughs> it's an arid climate. Yeah, come ask me to spit on you, see what happens. <laughs> okay, so I bought new earbuds today because I left my last and today I found the pair I lost. Oh. That's funny. I had uh AirPods, have AirPods. Shit. Shoot. Um, and I was not using them much lately because the the microphone in the left one died. So like if I'd answer the phone, people like couldn't hear me very well at all. And then Nicole's like, well, what about that pair that you had that you lost one of them? Which one did you lose? It's like, well, I'll go look. Lost the right one. So now I got a new working, work? working pair. I don't know. I haven't tried it. But yes, for the sake of the story. <laughs> Well, how about them new IRF rings for the VP tanks, LMAO? <laughs> there you go, yes. Those got released today. They did. Lacos is having fun. Everybody's having fun. That's why it's called the... Oh. Taint spot. Taint nobody getting close enough to wax it. <laughs> Not uh... My surgeon told me to get laser hair removal on my butt. <sighs> Just imagine it being like a, like the world's worst sunburn for a few days. Like. But on your butt? Why would you? Why would you? Who know. cares? I mean, if a surgeon's saying it, like that's got to be impressive. Yes, but. for the sake of the story. Which snow rail wins in a race? Yours or Matt's? We, I, uh... Ooh, that's a good question. I think it depends on the snow because Matt's was really low to the snow. Where mine had a lot more clearance, but mine might have been heavier. Oh, ingrown hair in your butt crack. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Brian Young's like, can we stop? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Locker right. says second opinion, man. <laughs> 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 Lays both arms and chest for surgery, never again. What's on the bench? You're rebuilding the earth roamer. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I got a bounty out for that. Who did he sell it to? They don't, I don't know. I'm just saying, if I could if I could find who bought it and then buy it out from under them. No. We're and then good. just whistle and diesel it. Just post a video. Just. Mm, we don't oh, do that. Oh, it would be so. We don't do that. I, I just would. Oh, I'm just saying. Like, at least you know where it went. <laughs> <laughs> I do love me some whistling diesel. <laughs> that kid is so funny. <laughs> like I never had seen it. Ben had it on. Um, yeah, it's... in Alabama. And I, oh my god, I was laughing so hard. That kid is so funny. I people probably get so mad about it. Oh, him. that that's the part that I, I kind of enjoy. It's just that like knowing I hate that guy's channel. He ruins everything. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that. I think he's adorable. I'm still so surprised they would accept it back from Matt as a project and then sell it. Yeah, okay, Oni, that is in bad taste to the nth degree. That is like the worst taste you could possibly I'm have. sure what happened is that whoever they got it from or whatever didn't know what they were doing. But like, what's up, dude? Come here. Come on. Okay, no one... Likes Russell and Diesel apparently, that's, except for me. That's <laughs> why he is popular. Is I because think he's hilarious, but I also know that he makes so much money off of his shit that he can afford to. That and that's why he's. Doing yeah, he can afford to do all of that. So like, you know, okay, everyone hates him. 
Yeah, I think, I mean, and that's why he's popular. It's because, yeah, that's why But people... I think he's got a great sense of humor. Oh, I'm it's... Not that I sit and watch YouTube, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I usually watch the videos just to see what he, who he's going to piss off next. I mean, and he's such a fair kid, though. Like, with that guy who stole his stuff, he was, like, so fair with him. Oh, that's the one you watched? Yeah. That's not a great example. No, I watched this. the school bus one where he, like... Okay. I think he's just funny. That's a couple of good example videos because sometimes it is a different situation. <laughs> oh, but I don't... He's not still, anybody else's stuff. No, He's that his is own true. Stuff. That is exactly. You don't care right. if you. Yes, that is absolutely the case. Right. Wagon wheels on a Hellcat. What? Yeah, he put. No. He put Amish wagon wheels on a Hellcat. It was. Hey, thanks for being here. Sucks. Oops. Oops. <laughs> that was my fault. That was my bad. You want it? You boy chief. Oh, he comes from lots of money. That's why people don't like him. Tom Lee built whistling a squatted Sen F450. Oh. Interesting. Did he build it after I built the squatted one? Chief, do you like him? Team Effort would like to know. Chief likes everybody. He's like his mama. He's scared of everything. Though. No, him not scared. He likes everyone. Shoot, why did I put that in? Even if you don't like videos or give them a dislike, you're still getting views. Yup. The IFR is dropping for two twos are today, right? Yeah, they are they should be on the site already. In theory, you could destroy the products sent to you for a review after that's done. In theory, we could, but we saw Oh, I'm, I am I do not subscribe to the same type of thing. I, I do not like the destruction for the sake of destruction like myself. Unless someone sent it and said, can you destroy this? And then even th well no even then because like I just I don't know actually he doesn't come from money that's funny thing he doesn't seem like he comes from money yeah I think he, I think it's funny well who cares let me make my case for gorillas gorillas will end a bear by sheer brute strength bears are sissies that run away from everything <laughs> just check the site and they are not up yet oh really I thought we were releasing those today Taco Bell destroys bowels and no one complains. <laughs> oh, we grow up a Jehovah's Witness. Okay. Uh, oh, Alex said, I love you, Chief. Chief's a good kitty. He's the best cat, eh? He can be a little pushy, but other than that, he's pretty much the best. So I watched this guy um, Bro, was just creating no. waste from perfectly good working cars that people built. Agreed. But also, if he destroys one, then people will have a job to make a new one, right? Yeah, he's <laughs> he he bought it. They right? were trying. To, he was he bought something they were trying to sell. So, keeping jobs. What's up, dude? Uh, rock light recommendations for a Phoenix build. The Series Two rock light kit is back on the website now. That's an easy plug and play one. Other than that, I think PowerShift RC Technologies has uh, an option as well. You can give them a Google because their website address is a little kind of. Oh, he has a whole podcast. Does oh. it really? Yeah. Okay. I would like that. Jersey Scaler. I'm... Wow. Good for you for getting, getting it taken care of. Total cat ass. <laughs> I'm on the fence to buy VP rift axles. Well, as someone who appreciates when you buy things from VP, then um, yeah, you'd be, you'd you'd buy a VP. <laughs> Hold on, Alex doesn't love his yards. No, he loves cats and kitties and me, and that's it. <laughs> Zip ties and buy supplies is a great deal. <laughs> is that funny? It's a good name. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine being mad about when someone what someone does with their own money property. You know. That's the we internet. We all be happy for what everyone else has that they worked hard for. You know how much... <laughs> Alex, yes. Buy once, cry once. Recommendation for one of those motor ESC combos that always keep the same RPM even when under load. I don't know what they are called. Uh, that's the Hobby Wing setup. Can and... you please weigh a Phoenix kit with no electronics? Uh, with no electronics? 
I don't have one here without no without electronics right now. But a Phoenix with a basic motor, ba brush motor, servo, ESC, ready to run is five pounds, nine ounces. I was told I should buy a new car, so I'm shopping for a Fox Body Mustang. Yep, that's not what they meant. I'm I, guessing. I kind of want a Corvette again right now. Oh, just right now? Just like I've been thinking about oh, it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's just do that. That's like, yeah. that's okay. like trading in the Gladiator. Oh, sure. Yeah. Not a new one. I mean, I mean, we have another Jeep, so it's okay. I know, right? Go for it. Do it. Joker 510714, thank you for the donation. Coyote Hand to Paw Combat, who's winning? <laughs> Ooh, for a sec. I could I can mm, get a yeah. coyote. I feel like it's Urban it's, Legend Scalers, thanks yeah. again for the donation. Are deluxe fab shocks worth the money? I mean a coyote you can kick in the throat. Yeah, coyote's kind of like a mangy dog. Yeah, so. coyote's a small dog, so like Yeah. I feel like you take that. Are deluxe fab shocks um, worth yeah, I mean, they're nice on... I've got them on my robots, and they, uh... Eric says... They're solid. Lit LED is fantastic. Do oh. Want, what do you want? A C5, C7? What are you looking for? I think C6. Maybe C7. Would have to be a C7. Would it? I like... <laughs> Back in all, just as much as Gladiator. You know <laughs> what, Adam? I like... I, I like the C6s. Isn't a Phoenix a single... No. Speed, no. What? I mean, yes, but like... C6 is a... Yeah, but like, no. Um, the Corvette approval seemed like a trap. Chris Kelly, I am not that hard of a thinker. Oh, shit, where'd the chat go? That's weird. I'm not that hard of a thinker to um, make how'd you, it. How'd you do that? No idea. To uh, trap him in anything, ever. Really is it care. still, are we still live even? Yeah. We live. There we go. Yeah, that's fun. We can enter. Okay, a grizzly one. You, yeah, you need that. I'm kind of surprised. All right, that. <laughs> the peloton is activating midlife crisis vet needs. Oh, shit. <laughs> Like my worst nightmare. <laughs> like, we have all of the toy trucks. We have the fun <laughs> cars. We have the three wheeler. What is the midlife crisis going to be? <laughs> like, is it gonna? Be, it better not be another woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Natalie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> what Jarrett Dow taught the exact same thing he just said. Now, oh God, no. Neck tattoos? No. <laughs> no! I was in a tattoo shop one time with my cousin at the Ozarks and I saw a man purposefully pick out the words white trash Ooh. to get tattooed right here on his neck. And I was like, I don't think you need to tell anybody. Good job, buddy. I was like, I think it's pretty clear if you, from, yeah. from that, from the script on near, near your jawbone. Yeah. <laughs> um, Siri, does Josh have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's wrong with neck tattoos. <laughs> the term, putting white trash. Why we gotta say Natalie, that's the XY's name. My ex's name is Josh. Yeah. So just it. Like, don't think too hard about ex's names. <laughs> yeah, because people called him New Josh. All Everyone in my family called him New Josh for like <laughs> 10 years. They were like, yeah, New Josh. My ex was six foot seven. And so when they met him and I was like, this is Josh. And like people who hadn't seen him for like for years or whatever, like my, ha hadn't seen me for a long, like family, they'd be like, <laughs> I don't really like, uh... this one. Oh, yeah, we've met. Like, No. They're like, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember you. Weren't you taller last time? Like, no. Different Josh. <laughs> yeah. Jo Joker, thank you. Wolf, hand to pot combat. Nicole gets a knife. I'd still... 
Oh, mm, wolf? wolf? No. no. <laughs> nope. Nope. Losing that one. No. Quickly. <laughs> no. Is this Josh? Okay. But Josh or Jake, that do his brother's Jake, so yeah. that doesn't work either. <laughs> yeah, big Josh and little Josh. There you go. <laughs> At least they didn't call him new Josh. <laughs> What's the matching name? Was the matching name a required? It wasn't. But, oh, wait, 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 whoa. This is the best part. His first wife was a hairdresser as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I still really don't want to pay for haircuts. So. The knife that Josh, that he made, was, he assembled for Nicole to use. No, thank you. <laughs> so is Big Josh before or after the tapeworm? <laughs> Before. <laughs> yeah, OG, original Josh. <laughs> He's not OG, though. Yeah. <laughs> one ten scale Josh and one six scale Josh. <laughs> but he does still pay for haircuts. <laughs> yeah, but I do still. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wait. We both, yeah, we have types. <laughs> Ryan Parker has a a very serious comment on this. Gorillas are mainly vegetarian. Grizzlies are known to kill for fun. Bear kills for survival and is very good at it. No contest. Will the Dark Earth Vanquish Wolves be available to purchase? Or nope. only... Oh, Jeremiah Selberg, thanks for doing it. I'm getting comp stance guy as a tattoo. <laughs> Data nurse. They'll take care of you or try and fix you. Josh needs both. <laughs> Do you even think you can find a C6 in decent condition? <sighs> Yeah. Yes, I, I think so. Comp stance guy tattoo equals epic. Who's that? I'm gonna get a beer. Do you need one? Uh, sure. Let's see. Uh, uh my my trick. My type is that they are crazy enough to think I look good. <laughs> None of Alex's girlfriends have shoelaces. Um, still no info about scale nats. Nope. Uh, Matt and I are going to kind of plan on the Colorado event being our scale nats. So that's the, uh, that's the plan. We're going to build for that and plan on attending. Um, just get one from an old guy with jean shorts. Probably a little one. Yeah, there's a out. California, man. There's there's lots of lots of cars. Um, uh, what do you think of the new J Concepts Tus One Six Scale? I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're good. The One Ten Scale Tux Tusks. It's a hard one to say. Tusks. Uh, so yeah. Um, our purple One O Five is a good trade for rock jock axles. I mean, not ex not really. I mean, the One O Fives I think are pro. Wait. What rock jocks? AR60 or SCX2? Hey, Josh, any plans for the one quarter inch hex adapter to fit the DeWalt gyro driver? You guys need a quarter inch hex adapter to fit the gyro. What's the, the point of titanium links? Titanium links are lighter, stronger. Lighter, stronger, faster. Well, F10 T axles work underneath the 19 Wraith. Um, one nine rates are not great with offset pumpkins. Um, the one, any plans for, I don't know what you mean. Like the one we use already fits that. The, the TGH one fits that. It's fine. Offer trucks a la carte optioning. Pick your trans axles, body wheels with the chassis. Nope. That's a massive pain in the ass. That would be so much work. We'd have to hire like six people just to do that. There, yeah. Like, and then your truck would cost. And then you, you have to like, $6,000. You have to have way more of each yeah. thing. It's yeah. It's just not. If you, not I mean, if you want to pay that much for a truck, go for it. Right. I'm kidding. Any suggestions for turning my straight axle cap run into a rock racer for axial fest? I mean, if straight axle capper, you're kind of already set, really. Be fine. You just got a shock tune for it. Make sure you got the KVs to be fast enough in shock tune. The VP1 to adopt the two and three millimeter now drivers. Oh. Uh, oh, to for two and three. So like a larger. To, ah, gotcha. <laughs> Not currently. My rock drops being discontinued. Um, SCX-102 rock jocks. Okay. I mean, no, still not. I mean, SCX-102 rock jocks are just a regular part. We still run them all the time. So they still go up on the website. I think some went up this week. 
I want to get the Incision VS410 Phoenix Series 2 light kit on my Phoenix straight and run both three and fours. Will that work? Um, I don't know about running 4S through that. That would be... I wish I could order a, tough one. a driver's side know. or passenger side drop axle from Vanquish. Yeah, that's it's it would never work because you have to have a transmission that works that way and the whole thing, and it's just... Never... I saw a guy running LMT axles in class one. That would be a terrible setup. I saw a guy running out. It can't be real. That would be. I saw a guy running bad. around in his drawers the other day with, um, but on the highway or on the exit to the highway, and they were like the tight ones. They were boxer briefs, um, but he also had a mask on. So <laughs> no, was, and it was cold. It was like thirty. It was like it was, forty degrees. No, it was like thirty. Yeah, it was freaking cold it was it was really that was why it was so weird because normally i'd be like eh <laughs> but then i was like man it's 30 degrees out you got your drawers on and put in a mask cool and you're just running around the highway at eight o'clock in the morning <laughs> <laughs> um okay <laughs> yeah okay i have one more left to build yes i just saw your instagram post lad rc ridge rc <laughs> That was at Disney. That was at Disney, Oklahoma. And that was the trip that on our way home, I got very ill. Like? Like I had to pull over. Adam, I think it was more like a meth situation. I don't Not think. Not mine in Disney. Yeah. This is oh, the, the no. one she saw. No, the guy in his drawers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I, I got like really badly sick after that. And I had uh, somebody else, another friend of mine who... Uh, Oh, Got real sick after just, playing in the water at Disney as well. He wasn't in the water. So. We've all been in that water. <laughs> Have we? I've, that was the only time I ever was. I've been in it. You're. <laughs> I played in it. You kids. Was the Phoenix Trans set up to run rear drive only, or is it just possible because of the gap in the overdrive? What was uh, upstream? It was the spillway to the... It was a giant dam. Yeah, it's... It was like like, like Folsom Grand, Dam, basically. Grand Lake yeah. is basically what's above it. Aardvark Swain, thank you for the $5. I know it's a really in-depth topic, but could you do a rough overview on shock tuning? I'd appreciate a focus on high-power brushes crawling. Um, I mean, it is a very in-depth thing, you know? you. But it's like... It's kind of like... Full, so you have damping and rebound. The, if your axle feels uncontrolled through, you know, under compression, like when you hit a bump, if it feels like, it feels like it just, you know, flies up way too fast and bottoms out, then you have two problems. If it's bottoming out from it, your spring rate could be too soft. You maybe need a little harder spring rate, or you can just try going to a heavier oil to slow it down. Um, you know, that's, there is no proper exact answer then of course you also have the shock pistons so you can go to a smaller hole or a larger hole in that if you go to a too small of a hole with a heavy fluid though you can make a lot of pressure as it goes up and you can have problems with your seals uh there's just it is a really tough like even an overview is is tough um you know i like mine so that as far as spring rate goes so that when i can flex the car i'll get the front to compress fully before the rear so usually i run a little bit of a softer setup in the front or even if it's the same and there's more weight up here it'll still kind of do that yeah it's all over it's there's so much. and i'm not even i know enough to make my trucks drive the way that i like by no means am I shocked, oh, nice shocked here. Jesus, as the uh, as Wayne is called. Who? Wayne Hart Hart Hartig. He I can't even remember what shock company he's with now. If he's still with Fox or King or whoever, but they call him Shock Jesus. Oh. That's you nice. you go out and tune with Wayne before Koh. Wow. If you're a, if you're a big shot. You get, some, you get some time with Shock Jesus in the desert. Wow. 
Axial upgrade from plastic to aluminum. What's your suggestion? Stop it. Why? That noise is very annoying. Oh. It would be on there. Uh, axial, what, upgrading what from plastic to aluminum, do you say? Uh, I don't know. Axial upgrade, axial upgrade from plastic. Axial, I don't know. Like what part are you talking about axial? Are you talking about axles? I, I, I know you don't know. I'm asking them so they could retort. <laughs> You're being slow. Isn't this so weird that we're just like talking to nothing? I know. It's just us in this room. And mm -hmm. we're talking to 500 people. Yeah. But we're just in our half-ass den. <laughs> our neighbors just saw from the outside what we're doing. Axles. Just looks like we're talking away from each other into the corner of a room. Yeah, boxing pen versus fancy pen. That's exactly. That yeah, that's that is us. Um, or <laughs> Mark explained things. <laughs> Could you do a rough overview on shock turning, Kat Nicole? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the guy behind you with the knife. Oh, have you ever ran a corrupt carbon works chassis? I just got their battle. Ace chassis and doing my first comp rig. Awesome. Um, no, I have never ran one of theirs. I thought that I did, but it was actually Classy Cut Customs. So CCC instead of CCW. And I was mistaken for a bit when I owned it. Um, but no, beyond that, I have never. Damn it, why do I keep putting that freaking ring in? I don't know. I need to put the shark. Tim Hunsker. Thank you for the donation. So with the upcoming builds for you, Matt, will you have time for the scans on the Mojave and the extra cab? Yes. That that it's because the, we will get your chassis back to you. That is the plan. Still, we I met Tim at IKEA, and for some reason, I thought we were taking something to drop off to him, but then we, we ended did. up taking something home as well. And I was like, no. We did take something. That's not how that works. Get rid of and take take a book, leave a book. No. Can Cerakote chip like paint? Yes. On an injection molded cage. Yo, I finished can. building my Vanquish Phoenix Sturd Axle the other day. Loving it. I nice. have the steering trimmed perfect going forward. But going reverse, it's off. Any suggestions? The steering? Um, I have the steering trimmed perfect going forward. Um, how, I don't know what radio you're running exactly, but normally... That's not a thing that would change between forward and reverse. Um, I don't have an answer for that. That is very odd. Your preferred scaler for the most realistic truck? Um, I mean, my VS410 Pro. And then, like, my Woods Runner up there is a VS410 Pro, and that's, you know, realistic is different. To, or, like, what people th say is realistic, like... Do the rock buggies are realistic. He said, I know, it has me stumped. I'll figure it out. I don't, yeah, I don't know what radio that is. I can't imagine how that's being affected. So I saw a Facebook post that someone made a regular controller have a dial on it for a rear steer setup and was wondering if it's super complicated. Uh, I've seen that as well. There's a company that sells it. Don't, I'm not, I don't suggest it though. Do like, We've had those type of setups. My Fataba can do it already. A five position rear steer steering setup is the best way to go. It You don't need super crazy, you need it to be fast and reliable and less thinking while on course. You just want it quick. You want it, it's, don't overthink it. I understand that it sounds better. We all thought that way. It's Check like, your toe. Trust me. Betting you are towed in. Says Frank H. It, yeah, I could see that when it's just trying to steer it as you're going. Good call. When you go in reverse. I was recently 20 minutes into a comp rig conversation with a guy I met on the trails, and I was calling G Speed chassis G Spot on accident. <laughs> he was like, I need to get into this. Yep. Don't tell me how to live my life, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what's your opinion on the TFL Bronco? Um, TFL's not a company I'm, I buy, would buy stuff from. They've got that Bronco body alone uh, that 
is like, it's, it's not like a hard body, like typical. It's actually like fiberglass. Um, a guy locally had one. It's pretty interesting. It's, I mean, the finish of it looks pretty nice, but it is not as strong as I would have thought based on the photos. And then the cage work that they sell with it is done in a very weird way that I'm not a fan of, but why do you it even still rear look steer good. when you have dig? Honestly, rear steer is more competitive. I love dig, but rear steer is more competitive. What's your opinion on, on opinionated opinions? Ooh, uh, well, mine are always right. <laughs> we literally had a conversation like a month ago where I was like, do you see this? This is why when you're so certain about being right, you're not always right. It was about a second pair of shoes. And I don't even think that it was like that. That I knew you had that you said you didn't. Then you think your roll cage for the cliffhanger would fit the Axel Honcho? Did I think that? Body. I, do you? Oh, do you think? Uh, damn it. I just threw the printed one I had away. And I've got a honcho body here. I don't know. Uh, I feel like it would be small, but I've got a honcho body that I, I don't know. I don't know if it would. He blows these boxing pens. Um, Sen Racing Monster Truck, what do you think for upgrades? I, Nicole, I know nothing what about it. people are wrong say. Shut up. Is 85% overdrive too much? E, I, in my opinion, yes. Ford WS Capra VS Dig Capra VS both? Three gear with Hertz Dig is my setup I'm planning on. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be fun. Throw them both in there. Do you miss your big hair? No, not really. Between it's Matt so much more Josh's, work. which one opinion means more? Josh's? Obviously. Can I have your honcho body? No, I already gave my honcho body to somebody. When will you be running the MLA Going to rig? Phoenix. Oh, um, sorry. Uh... Do you miss your big hair? No. I kind of do. It was so much work. It was a lot of work for you. Yeah. I don't have time for my own needs. It would be the Ripper, to... Doe the Joke. What? If you could pick one tr RC truck to run forever. Oh, no. Definitely not. Um, BS410 Pro. Carolina Ghost. BS410. We got kitties in here. Oh, we got a kitty right there. My BS410 Pro would Thank absolutely you. be the truck I would run. Over a Ripper? Oh, for sure. Ripper is not a, it's like not a great runner. I it's, think I have a honcho body. Who wanted it? Says team effort. The Ripper is just cool for what it is, but it's not like. Did you see the new deluxe? I missed uh, transmission. Oh, uh, I heard about it. It's like a three point or uh, C3PO something three. Don't be joshing me, Tempest Fugate Mofo. It's been about six months since I had a free Friday night. Hey, that's How's I'm glad you're back. Yeah. He was our, uh, Don't Be Josh is our horologist. Horologist, I know. Our bangle owning horologist. Yeah. Joker 510714, thanks for the donation. Previous bangle owner. Yes. Could, you're always a bang. You're once a bangle owner, always yeah. a bangle you're, owner. That's once you've been sure. traumatized by him, yeah. you're always traumatized. PTSD. Could you build a comp rig with the Phoenix body for ideas for those of us who want to use the body in a build? I'm thinking about it for the for net for uh, Rocky Mountain Regionals, which I'm super excited about. That's going to be such a fun event. TGH Fish. is such a good fish. Text me. Oh, good. So he's going to let us know this weekend, possibly. Good. So what's the difference between the VS410 Pro Black and Dyson Clear? the color of the axles that is it clear is just metal clear is yeah silver silver yeah it's aluminum like matte aluminum finish ground fox build not a phoenix body um wait what i don't know well don't be josh me we're right there with you we got a 17 year old snow bangle yep just yep. do a gozer body. Have you ha heard anything about the gear mm, mesh stripping in the axles? On no. what? I don't know. Have you, have you heard anything about gear? Mesh Chris stripping? Maxwell, do the Colorado event. It's going to be a blast. In what in what axles, Ryan? In a Vanquish axle? Never. 
looking to get my first Vanquish. Should I get a Phoenix or a Pro? Ooh. Um, so there's pros and cons to each. The Pro is like one of my favorites. I love the aluminum axles and all that kind of stuff. It's got the standard DFD in it, which doesn't have as many features, but is like freaking bulletproof. Um, the shocks and the Phoenix are better. The Phoenix has a narrower front bumper and the body's a little tighter, so it's a little bit better as far as like clearance and performing. Um, you know, it's just like, there's pros and cons to each. Chad Dickerson, welcome to the hobby. Hi all, Colorado here. Does Vanquish make a build kit that includes everything including electronics? Mm -hmm. I want to build a crawler from ground up, but I'm new to the hobby and have no idea what all I need. Do you have a video that will tell him? So I do that. Um, but no, and I actually don't, well, I know, I don't know anybody that has a kit that has everything already. But do you have somewhere where you can find? Yeah, like my, la the Phoenix straight axle kit video that I did, uh, I have links to like Should all the get electronics. The Ultra or Pro? I like the Pro best. That's. Gerald says, the Pro is my favorite tent scale. It's so much fun. What percent so... of the super chat? Do you... Oh, sorry. Um, I didn't mean to read that. I I don't know exactly. I think it's like seventy percent or something like that. Ah, oh, the true star has shown up to upstage Josh. What's up, GV? GV, GV. Got somewhere to sit. Pop a squat. Good boy. Hi, pumpkin. He's like, can we play? Minus the ten ninety nine hit. <laughs> is what it is. The pro. Everyone says the pro. So the Phoenix is designed in California, but is it made overseas? Yes, it is. It says right in the box. Um, that's why, you know, like on the, the pros and the ultras, we produce stuff. They come partially complete to us. And then we put the rest of the parts in the box. The Phoenix is done. And so like, that's why on the, the uh, pro and the ultra, it says made in the U S and Taiwan, there is a whole thing with like how much percentage of it is made in the U.S. versus not, like with the value and everything. With like the Pro and Ultra, we could technically just put made in the U.S., but we don't. Just because like we don't have injection molding and... If you set up Streamlabs, they only take like 3%, says Whiskey Runner. I feel even luckier about me my truck of fortune haul getting the pro without having to decide on it myself <laughs> whenever everyone says it's best. <laughs> it is such a good kit. I almost had the best pro. It's only not the best because the person building it would not wear the freaking t-shirt I bought and sent him. <laughs> Did I build you a pro, Dale? Can I order from a vanquish site with online help? Um, uh, we have, we have customer service and stuff, um, or you can send me a message and I can help you with items and things like that. I'm always happy to help where I can. Have you ever built a mighty FC? I'm in the beginning stage no. of shortening at 12, 12.3 to an 11.4 wheelbase. I have not built one of those. Um, man, they haven't made that body in a while. But, Chad, we will get you help if you need help. Yeah. I'm happy to help. Your Ultra is so cool, though. The Ultra does look good. I don't have it in here anymore. Urban Legend Skellers, thanks for the donation. BP should make another tube chassis rig, but affordable, unlike the Ripper. Oh, Buck Dandy's here and listening quietly, just so everyone knows. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jovanko uses high quality injection molded plastic though. Thank you for that. Yeah. No, I mean we're we use the high quality of everything. We are super picky and you know we use a lot. What's the, the difference in an ultra and pro? Uh so an ultra has portal axles up front, big difference there. Um the transmission has centered gears inside and a plastic molded motor plate and standoffs, where the pro has aluminum standoffs, aluminum motor plate, and machined gears inside. Um and then the Ultra has 80 millimeter shocks. The Pro has 90 millimeter shocks. That's about it. Puck hide your daughter's dandy. <laughs> no, he has enough daughters himself. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to do a lot of little cleanup to this 
truck. So far, I own an axial wraith and a rift. Does Vanquish make axles for either? Both. Uh, we make rift axles and we make AR60 axles. Those are Do what axles. Do you build axles. trucks for customers? No. Not really. No. And especially with having to build three new trucks for nationals this year. Courtney. Oh, unibody wheeler sheep had lambs so they have four baby lambs running so i'm coming to your house this weekend nope nope to hold a don't, lamb don't forget to put the rubber band on their tails so it falls off <laughs> it's not their tails so you put the rubber band on yes it is no you put a rubber band on their balls and their tails why do you want their tails to fall off so it's easier to shear mm. we'd love to know what's going through Chief's mind right now yeah, he's just... He's like, play, play. That's all is ever in his mind. Can we play? Can we play? He's being extremely calm at the moment. He probably ate a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> he's stuck. He's stuck to the table. <laughs> I was being the six scale axles for... Axial axles for honcho with the aluminum or whatever. Oh, oof. No, I, I haven't actually looked at any of that stuff as far as upgrades on that. When will we see an Artful Dodger set up? I need to... Just, it's right behind me. I just need Chief to. She was always judging hard. Need Harley a design video. edition release with best of both. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Drink H. Yeah. Um. Keep doing what you're doing. Your videos got me back into the hobby and helped a lot with my Phoenix build. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Um, Ardvar explained, thank you for the donation and the, uh, fun. Nicole, please explain the benefits of installing a diverging diamond interchange over a pair of standard intersections. Why would you? Have you ever ran dual rate pistons and shocks? Um, back in the day, yeah. The Axial used to make some, actually. But seriously, what's the benefits of a diverging diamond? <sighs> so it makes you feel like you're going the wrong way on the right side of the road? <laughs> what is she? She weighs like 16 pounds. Something like that. He's a dense kitty. Mm -hmm. He's a very dense, very long kitty. Yeah. When you get him stretched out. We need some Vanquish 2 9 wheels. Is it? F Excuse me, Josh. I asked Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Is it physically possible to put one six scale axle underneath a UTB 18? Um. <gasps> anything's possible, but not smart. Did you hear that one? What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Saka, thank you for the donation. I am Sorka Rolls, stupid tired class two. Two bed or flat bed with cage. What do I have, LOL, and what is considered a complete deck? Must have an outer perimeter structure with a minimum height of one eighth of an inch. So, yeah, a complete deck. So they mean like if you're going to put something on a class two, it needs to be like a flat bed, meaning the whole thing has to be covered. You can have ups and downs, but the whole thing has to be covered. No open sections. And then the outside around it, whatever you're using, if you're even if you're using tube, it needs to be at least eighth inch tube. So it needs to be... A solid tube all the way around. No gaps in it so that the whole thing all the way around has that. And then you need to make sure you have frame rails as well. You can't run it without frame rails. Chris Maxwell, with your new build, sounds like you'll need some funds. I'll give you tree 50 for last year's class one. Uh-huh. Buck Dandy, thanks <laughs> again for the donation. So I was eating a banana today. Oh, wait, never mind. Not finishing that sentence. <laughs> I know he was because he sent me a picture of it. <laughs> That's amazing. Is it? Yes. So don't be sliding into my DMs with that. <laughs> Fucking Carl. That's amazing. <laughs> Just opening my phone to banana pics. <laughs> God damn it. I'm so glad I didn't date when that was a thing. <laughs> I'm so glad. Banana to mouth. Hang on. I have to go down here and do it. Banana <laughs> to mouth. No, mouth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carter of all trades said, yeah, the whole banana to mouth, not mouth to banana thing the other night changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, you read that 
out loud wrong. It's tree 50, not 350. <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm on the East Coast and total went Matt Sharky. I get it. It's okay. It's almost 11. Good night. I didn't hear Josh say no to my offer. <laughs> Hard no. And Josh about to get a lot more banana picks. <laughs> that destroyed my OnlyFans. <laughs> Chibi, you just into it? What's worse, a banana or a foot long corn dog? God. So, banana pick is what they're called nowadays. Yeah. Raw axle housings on that thing? Yes, they're one of the original sets. What's up, buddy? You're so tired. Are you so tired? Are you ready for bed? Mama is almost ready for bed, too. Oh, boy. His head is always so freaking hot. Yeah, he is. He is a warm kitty. 24 hours of Daytona starts tomorrow. Oh. Can cats eat banana? No. Those super huge <laughs> get me every time. I, know, I happen to know where another set is, the Off the OG Origin. I think you're... God damn it. Chibo, what you doing? Hi, pumpkin. He just sits here and just watches, like, come on. It was about that time I noticed that Girl Scout was a six-story crustacean from the Paleolithic era. <laughs> what? Um, That's from Suicide Squad, I think. How do I know what transmitter, ESC, and motor... Um, and Mike Bird. It's a, it's an acquired taste, you know, as far as like ESC and motor, like what, what your driving style is and what you want to prioritize. Whether it's he doesn't know he's new. Whether yeah, so like if you had to walk into a hobby shop and just get stuff, right? So like brush would would be ex inexpensive. So if you're trying to prioritize cost, then you're gonna look at a brushed mm -hmm. setup. Oh, Brad, mad love um, to Alabama. And then that, so that's a big one. Then from there, you can go into brushless and you start looking at, again, there's costs in different ranges and, uh, you know, ones that are smoother than others and faster if you want more wheel speed, but still have good control. And, you know, it, again, it's one of those things like I could sit here and only talk about that for four hours. <laughs> Marush is a hard argument with the Fusion SE out there. Yeah, the you know the Fusion SE is real low power, but brushed stuff is kind of in that same power range. So yeah, I agree. What are you working on here, buddy? I just built all new shocks. Yeah. Pay up, sucker! Thanks for the donation. The C2X has a flat deck. What else would I add? Only. Onto it to be compliant. Uh, that one should be compliant, the C2X. I believe that because it's it sh it's thick enough all the way around. I'm, I think that that is legal as is. Slow and trail crawl. Um, bummer that there's not a hobby shop around you because that is the best way. Yeah. Home's hobbies, brush motors are legit. Yep. I, yep. And, I mean. Go to tire for the Phoenix. Um, I've got the Falcons on mine now. On, on both of mine, the uh, Wild Peak, four, six, five inch tall time ones. Isaac Wood Jr., we were just talking about that, about Matt's property, um, sold property, and he has not been found. I bet whoever, like, bought it feels bad. I, they might not know. Yeah, they probably, like, feel bad. It's like, like, oh, cool. Yeah, like, they didn't do anything wrong. Um... But that's hilarious. And yes, whoever said it was in bad taste was the exact words I was looking for. So I, thank my, you. My guess is that it was just like an employee who had new, had enough authority to make it happen. But uh, I bet you guys have choice. Yes, we all have choices of hobby shop. So you're going to have to go online. Musha got, let's see.
got the Fusion Pro and just went for it, plus all the Reef Servos. Urban Legend Scalers, thank you for the donation. You still have the full metal flex ramp I gave you at, at 2021 yeah. Axel Fab? It's on my fab table. So, yeah, it's, uh, it, yeah, it sits on the, it's in the middle of my fab table. Balls. So it's been there since then, even. Like, it's always, it's just always, I bet you can see it in videos. I was almost used to the eggplant stuff. Now they want to swap it to banana. <laughs> are the falcons in the kits now or completely separate? Um, they are separate. Did the flex seal truck ever get sold? Uh-huh. For... I think I, I sold it during Flip That Truck last season. For a performance kit, VXTs or falcons, my train is almost identical to Folsom. Uh, I mean, VXT2s are a better performing tire. They're just not as scale. Who's Mark Santamaria? Uh, he's a YouTuber that lives like right in the area of Traxxas. Oh, Mark Santamaria got word over two months ago that STRX Earth Roamer was for sale at Traxxas store. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's, that's true. But I think how Matt and I had heard that, but we thought that we had heard that he had asked about buying it and at the time, not that he had heard that it was for sale. Um, Evidently, that was incorrect information. Fish built. Thanks for the five dollars. Did you see the one point four six at hundred mile an hour RC drag race today? Also, don't forget email me logo for sign and metal hub part numbers for stock wheels. Oh, um, team effort found the guy. Who is it? Found the guy who bought it. Yeah. Team effort. For, team effort is in Texas. No, that's Lone Star. Sorry, team effort. I don't know where team effort. How? Who? Where? Who, where? I need to know. Who, where? Will he accept an offer? No. Don't know me. We're not. No. That's <laughs> so crazy. Even RC4 will drive wouldn't do that. Yeah, it was in one of his vlogs that he saw it in the tracks and place that was for sale. <laughs> it's in Cali now. What? Jimmy Hoffa has it. What happened? What happened? So, Matt. Made an earth roamer with Traxxas and stuff and then sent it back to them to try and be nice and they sold it out of their showroom. <laughs> oh shit. It's kind of funny. Said, oh shit, Nicole said it. Yeah, I know. I'm like thinking like RC Roller Drive would not even do that. They're like, what are your thoughts on high clearance links, specifically Phoenix Straight? Uh, I just don't like the way they look. Will they accept a gladiator and some Hot Wheels NFTs? <laughs> Why'd you have to NFT me? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. As someone said earlier, I'm pretty poor taste. But... How much Dogecoin? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, they're probably gonna, it's gonna be more than I've got because it ain't worth shit. <laughs> it's just not matching. I don't have, it. actually, I don't have any Dogecoin. I have Bitcoin only. I almost pay as much for that r as I would the Ripper for reasons. <laughs> Successfully trimmed Alexan body using the scorn snap method for the first time. This hobby is about pushing yourself right. I don't know about that. I've heard I've heard about that method. I don't know that I believe it. <laughs> what tracks has sold the Earth Roamer Matt built? Yup. <laughs> 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 We need a we need a spacer. Good thing I've got a spacer. The kid box. was running it in a park. I was like, wait a second, is that it? And no it was freaking way. In California. Oh my god. No <laughs> way. Scorn Snap is the only way I cut life sand bodies so much easier and cleaner lines. Pay up, Seca. Thank you for the donation. Should I take the sides off? The Delrin bed to fit the half cage. All that is left is a flat bed between the chassis. Oh, nope. It's got to be the full width of the, uh, or like most of the width of the, I can't remember what the rules say, but it basically has to be. The Romer story is just getting worse. Oh. You got to call Matt live and see what he says. Some yeah. kid was just fucking running in his park. Like, <laughs> oh. Somebody's like, hey, is that the... Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, call Matt live. The kid was whistling diesel it. 
<laughs> Matt's busy. He has life. We're gonna need. We're gonna need. Uh, no, like call Matt. Matt is busy. We need sass. We need some proof here. So should we see how much we can embellish the rumor story? You need to pat match in a Matt and ASAP. <laughs> Matt's busy. Matt has a life. They have. They do things. They have friends. Like go out and socialize. He told me he was not available on Friday night. Would you put? Would you consider putting it together with basic stuff like the pro and selling it? Uh, nothing's impossible. Wait, wait, wait. Where in Cali? Yeah, we need to know. Exactly. So Matt said he didn't care about the Earth Rumor situations. Do Matt is so. It? Matt is too nice to say. He's watching the tutorial and it's on the Chris. Shifters. <laughs> and kid put a boner garage sticker on the side. <laughs> that was already here once tonight. You're right. He was checking in while being waited to be seated at a fancy restaurant. We do not believe it. Where in California? I don't have a life after work. I'll search it down if it's in my area. <laughs> like, I need to know this. I will find this kid. <laughs> Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> you know what you have. Trade you this. I'll trade you. You want a new Xbox? You want, you want a PlayStation? What do you want? <laughs> hey, what? Shit, we all care about it now. When you're done with national builds and you have some free time, I would pay big bucks to get a Vanquish Pro built from you. Oh. Shoot me an email. Inquire minds need to know you're right, Paul. I know. We do need to know. I know. Like, this is... Did the little girl buy who beat him? <laughs> <laughs> Does Memer have to choke and grab a kid? <laughs> I saw it in Castle Rock. Last, his dad said he got it on <laughs> Need it. Need it. Don't want it. Need it. Traded his scooter straight up. <laughs> Get 50 miles a gallon on this hog. <laughs> I think he was talking about a razor. So, little kid beats Matt and Cop, and now kid destroys his masterpiece. Damn. <laughs> oh, the clearance on these new shocks is so perfect. It's like I... Oh. Like you made it that way? It's so good. I'm just saying. The Earth Rumor will be heading to the chop shop. So a honcho would be legal? Um, you sold my dead bird yes. to a blind kid? <laughs> <laughs> pretty birdie, pretty bird. <laughs> Say pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> um... Vanquish have a storefront. Nope. We do not. We do not. Not op since it's a manufacturing facility and all, to have a storefront would be quite they the have pain an in the ass. Online ends. store though. But no pickup. Chad, you'll love it. Just figure out what you need. If you um you know, you can get it. <laughs> the same kid all probably also has his Jeep. <laughs> People are like, I'll trade him this for it. <laughs> it's coming back, obviously. I'll go hang out at this goddamn park. Can you imagine being every, like every nice day I'm just wait. like, oh there it is. I'm gonna get it. I'll just snatch and grab it. <laughs> like, we don't live here. Wait. I'll speed waddle away. Ha <laughs> ha! What are you gonna do, kid? <laughs> Be right back. I want my water tray here. Let's <laughs> trade in my son's sportster. <laughs> eight eight three. Okay, gotta be. Right. Okay, good. Um, I'm about to. Because I'm about to become the kid's stepdad. Was that Gunner? No. Oh. Jesse. Jesse. <laughs> Snatch and grab on the mini trike. Yes. 
<laughs> just, just powering away. <laughs> That was, yeah, that's where that was. Is that a, that's a thing I said it right? Uh-huh. Yes, you did say it right. That was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. New shocks. No, Matt would go down, would drive. If Matt saw the kid, he would, like, offer him three times what he yeah. spent on it to get, and three times what he paid. And then give it back to Traxxas. Then, That's how nice Matt is. Yeah. <laughs> what? I kind of walked away from the convo after Dad said it was four ninety nine while he was in Texas, and yes, the state park. So they got five hundred for it. It's worth way more, isn't it? That's less than it would be for the regular truck new. Oh, he was smart. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, buy <bye> bills. <laughs> <laughs> it was used after all, says yeah. Art. Yeah. Oh my God. Five hundred dollars FML. I know. So back in the day, I designed this underhood area on this thing up here that holds my ESC and all. Um, and that was resin printed way back, but it's become pretty brittle. You can see it's broken up here. I feel like I need to redo all of that. I think we should that. keep this on the down low. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. F Matt's life. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> that's F. <laughs> Josh, that's a news story. You need to ask an explanation from Traxxas since our Estonian friend Alar, you're right, lightly used. Oh my Rude. god. Oh my god. They probably pocketed their. I, I would have done. I would have been like, if anybody ever walks into a vanquish and offers me $500 for cash on any, for anything in the wall, done. Done. <laughs> you're never, that you're one? never allowed that at my one? office. That 500 cash, done. Never allowed. You can. S <laughs> Man, I really didn't do like a. Well, now we have a story. Fancy job in here for how nice of a truck this is. So nice. It's uh. Miss Joss says, let me find a cash machine. <laughs> hey, you know, Joe, you know where to find me. You know that reference though, right? No. Big Lebowski. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> when you think Traxxas respects you and then you wake up from a dream. <laughs> Thomas <laughs> Balzik says, meet you there tomorrow. <laughs> no. You want that 30K machine? $500? Done. <laughs> it's just Cash? Done. 30K machine. Nicole, I'll send a $1,000 e-transfer right now. <laughs> 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 Salesperson of the year right here. Yep. I'm I was trying to make a sale. Well it's gone, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think Traxxas gives a flying F about it. You could hound them all day. I promise you they don't care yeah. about it. They're like, well, sorry about Matt, it. I would never send anything to Traxxas anyway, like any like for that reason. Like EVGA, yeah, for sure. They deserved your semi -trust. I mean, Traxxas has done well for us. They've given Absolutely, us some. Absolutely, but, but like, they don't give a shit about your, the stupid shit you guys make. Yeah, like, <laughs> they don't like, care. Yeah, dude, you see what Dude Perfect did with that stuff? It was like 50 million views. <laughs> like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Wait, that's a person? Dude Perfect is a, a YouTube channel. Oh, those are the guys that have it on the, the trick roof. stuff. Yeah, they've done stuff. Yeah. But they have like Traxxas on the roof. They're like sponsored by Traxxas. They, that, that's the Traxxas building that has it on the roof. But they're oh, near They're near okay. Traxxas. That state park is huge, worth the trip, even if the rover isn't sighted. <laughs> you know? Team effort agreed. Tell me it was Castle something. Um, We do love our state parks. Yes, we do. Support your local parks. Keep, keep land public. Right? Isn't that yes. what they say? That's a thing. I see that on t-shirts a lot. Dude, that crawler's looking nice. It is very nice. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna redo it to make it better. Can you, can you do this, but better? 
everything can always be done but better. Castle Rock State Park, make your rig, make sure your rig isn't too loud. Oh, love it, actually. I don't know why I did that because I no, actually. Nothing annoys her more than the sound of <sighs> me being in the most beautiful place in the world at, at Tahoe. Like, honestly, me live two hours from one of the most gorgeous places that you could ever go in the world, Lake Tahoe. And um, it's like. We'll be there in this beautiful, amazing sunset or sunrise or something. And you're just enjoying it and being in nature. And then all of a sudden. I hope the noise canceling takes that out. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Um, I actually would take that over a drone any day. I fucking hate the sound of those drones. They're, I hate the sound of a drone. They're not. They're not awesome. I'll give Adam you. Adam says, "Nope, lol." <laughs> <laughs> no sound canceling I, material. Or... I could swap this over to Nicole. Her. What daytime will you be there? Josh isn't. <laughs> Never allowed. She will not be unsupervised. He's so lucky. I don't have <laughs> freaking what it. What social media? Yeah, exactly. Josh has not flown the new drone. I have. You did? Yeah, I flew it last weekend. Where? At the lake. Oh, I wasn't there. It's very, Day and time. It's all caps. Very quiet. You could come to Nova Scotia this fall, Nicole. Nova Scotia. Okay. I would love to come to Nova Scotia this fall. You would. Sure. Absolutely. I mean, honestly, absolutely. Oh my God. This thing is actually, ZSC was holding this thing together. Oh. Wow. Look at this. Oh, yeah. That's... The whole thing <gasps> was just... It's be... all cracked. Was just being held together by how I had the ESC bolt. Job in. security. Metal over plastic. Right? Yeah. 3D pr... Resin 3D printers are garbage. 5K for the whole shop. Done. <laughs> Good lord. All right, the most places you go for free, or do you have to pay to get in, like parks? Um, we pay, but I have a pass. So. Right. So yes, a lot of places that we have that, you, especially around here, a lot all you have to pay to go to all the state parks. Yeah, it's like twelve bucks weird. a day. Um, yeah. But with the, it's like one hundred and twenty some dollars to get a pass, and it's for the year. Yeah. Worth it. Well, we have that. Yeah. Oh. Good yeah, we do. Good to know. It's a work thing. It's a work expense. Hmm. So, work buys it. <laughs> That's nice of them. My water. The golden poppy pass. Is that what you have? Yeah. Aw, look at you. You're so cute. My wood stove is about to run me out of my house. <laughs> I grew up with wood stoves. <laughs> no, yes, pay. Yes, we do miss Missouri Parks, Mike J. Yeah, that is kind of crazy to go into a state park and have to pay. Yeah, like, what? You're like, I'm sorry, what? I'm coming here to pay you to rent a paddleboard or a kayak or something, and you want me to pay for this, too? Like, like mm, okay, pass. Cool. Pretty soon you'll be able to fly to Tahoe in a drone. That would be amazing. I don't know if I trust them. Mm -hmm. Good Lord, this thing. I think I'm just ripping all this out. And Which I... resin compound was that made out of, do you know? Form to tough resin. Wood stoves and fancy fountains, Josh's album. <laughs> <laughs> Vanquish does not have a store. Nope. No. Web store only. Yeah. You would be very disappointed if you walked in. Psh, it's awesome. I know, but like if you were looking for, for like. Well, you, uh, you'd be most disappointed by the area as you drove up. You're like, oh. You're like, that's a really fun homeless camp. I like what they've done with the decor there. Yeah. Like, oh, fine. Oh. Like, we had a massive pile of boxes that we had put out for recycling to come pick up. But the recycling truck comes at, like, fucking 3 a.m. 
And I was just like, I don't want to leave these out overnight because I don't want to drive by a homeless camp and just see vanquish all over the side of oh. the entire homeless camp. Gotcha. I was so nervous. It's like, like um, guerrilla marketing. Ooh, you know what? Yeah, it is. I think we determined that uh, I am on Team Grizzly. It's guerrilla marketing. Yeah. So, all right. This castle... Did you watch the videos of Cletus's RCB2? Yes. It actually really made me want to get a jet. Cool. Me too. I really want a million dollars also. No, no, no. RC jet engine. Oh, no. They're much less expensive. Yeah, not that. Not that much less. They're enough they're less. Enough less to like, make it okay. They're kind of enough less. Mm. I feel like it could be a thing. Chiefy says, no, thank you. What's up, buddy? It's like, can we play? <laughs> Mom, can we play? It's past 8 o'clock. We're throwing all this away. Bring kind, it on. Kind of sad. Down to vanquish. I, li I liked how nice that looked before. It did not, though, because it was cracked. Yeah, not now. Now. I mean, that granted, that resin was like five years old. So there was a lady at the optometr optometrist's office. Today. It's hard to bend over that long. <laughs> and what? it was. Whew. Er, your mama. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the donation. <laughs> kind of looks like your mama, huh? It does. Well, that's what it is. Your mama, huh? Like Omaha? Your mama. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you part owner of Vanquish? Abs mo uh, the whole thing. No. Yeah, we own Vanquish. The whole oh, thing. Mangler. Thank I, you for the I donation. I actually started it. Uh, same year, Gosh, for, you think same year Ford started. Stamped aluminum panels to replace those resin panels? Um, I was thinking carbon. But I think we're going to uh, change the design up entirely. Um, I don't know. Because I think I'm just going to grab... I, have a, I bought a Fusion Pro a couple weeks ago that is sitting here somewhere. Uh you just bought a Fusion Pro. I knew that I would need it at some point. What is that? A truck or a printer? A uh, uh, motor. ESC combo. Oh. Nah, Nicole is silent, aka secret owner. Josh is her minion. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I actually run Vanquish. <laughs> He's the designer. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, I do. did all of this. <laughs> <laughs> her middle name is Vanquish. Yeah. <laughs> The royal we. Right. Yeah. Um. Now I got on you guys at Christmas about that. About what? Or uh, about in the chat. Oh. Josh, I'm running down to Omaha Hobby Town this weekend. Any Omaha spots I need to hit? Ooh, oh, for crawling? Uh, not that I know of. Not a lot of good else. spots, but, ooh, anything else. Chrissy Rich's daughter at the Omaha Zoo. The Henry Dorley. Um, anything else? Ooh. You could swing past Fort Calhoun, go to too far north. Um, Trying to convince my The wife. Longhorn in Fort Calhoun, that's, that's a spot. Highly recommend. Longhorn Bar and Grill. Um, it was good. I like... You can go to the Apple building and get a That's bottle too, of wine at the winery that they used to own. Too, too far north. <laughs> Nicole, he doesn't even know where the Fusion Pro is. Let me cut you a hundred. Sure. You just watch this. Hi. What do you think of Trial axles? Mm, I don't buy anything Trial. Hey, Jeff. Uh -huh. I've got a huge rock pile next to my house for RC crawling, and then I have Sand Hollow State Park ten minutes from my house. You jealous? Uh, yes, because it sounds like because that means you're in Utah. I still can't get over how calm she is. So number two incision hubs ever coming back? Uh, yeah, I need to do a reprogram on them, and I haven't got to that. Phoenix, yeah, exactly. Utah is just okay. That looks like Utah is just Oklahoma. I love Utah. 
Yeah. I love like Utah. Utah. Um, Aardvark, Swain, thank you for the $2. I will not abide another toe. <laughs> if you put a pro kit together with everything, I'll buy it. Just let me know. <laughs> Send me Josh's Flamingo. It's in the garage, and it's a three-wheel RC. It's got a bobblehead in it, too. What? Yeah, you've seen it. You just don't remember because you don't care. That you, don't, one? you don't listen to anything I say. Joshy. <laughs> Josh, go grab some of Nicole's stuff and start selling it on here for cheap. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> what, like her, her seven year old iPad? Like, <laughs> I like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> She's not much for things. I'm gonna need a recommendation for M2 and M3 screw organizer. Um. Your mama lives in Utah. <laughs> for a million dollars, would you sell everything that Josh owns? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I would. I'd let her. Yeah, and then. Um. Bye. <laughs> Angelina, my friend you see her. What CNC machine do you have? Uh, I have a like forty dollars a bottle. I'm married to a hairstylist. Um, yeah, but we get a discount when you're a hairstylist. I have uh these. Cast King on Amazon, and I've got them nice little labeled. Mm, see that M2 and M3 in there. Um, those are the screw organizers I like. I run a small Plano one, you're right, for that. And then I have a Stepcraft D600 is the CNC I have. Look at all those questions I answered. God. Wow. Would I sell a million? Like a Would steel. I sell everything for a million dollars? Yeah. I'd sell Josh for a million dollars. I'd, I'd let you. I want to see who's willing to pay it. <laughs> it's so funny when Josh, when Nicole keeps speeding through questions when Josh is trying to answer the one she said two or three ago. <laughs> I hear socks and other garments that ladies wear are quite good sellers. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> socks would be all you're getting. I was going to say, inventory's low. Saw Josh, but she'd rent him out by the hour. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I always tell him if some like super rich man wants to marry me, like the only the only caveat would be that I have to be able to bring my husband. <laughs> but otherwise, we're good. <laughs> like, let's go. But uh, yes. <laughs> Same with him. If some rich woman wants to marry him, huh. God, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, I'll sell my wife's compression socks fresh off a twelve hour shift. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a million right now, can't say it'd be American money. <laughs> you have no RCs? Perfect. I would <laughs> never say that. I would never date a man who was into sports or things like that. Ask Josh if Natalie's rich. <laughs> <laughs> That only works in Utah. <laughs> Josh's wife's boyfriend makes a lot of money. <laughs> uh, Cody Oscar David, thank you for the donation. First off, love you long time. We love you as well. Phoenix question, what's two in one, what two in one motor, motor fit? What is the most onset wheel that fits the F10? Trying to narrow track with an LC70 body. Can a rich man marry Josh? Sure. We're that in for all... that too. Absolutely. 100%. Was that all one? Got it. Bingo jackpot. There she is. Right here. Okay. Uh, Cody Asker. Dan, I think so. Uh, Phoenix. Two in one. What? Two in one motor fit. The Fusion Pro will fit with a light shave, like a millimeter or so, of the passenger side upper link mount. It's a good one to get. So, so will the Spectrum, um, which is basically the same thing. That's the first question. Uh, what is the most offset wheel? It fits an F10. Um, I think 
the TGH or the brazen scale, like zero offset sucked all the way in will clear, but I don't know what hub you need. And then there was one more. Can a rich man marry Josh? Oh, sure. No, there was, did you get the F70? Or F10? Yeah, yes, trying to trying, do it. yes, I did. Can a rich man marry Josh? Yeah, we're like, we're fine. I'm fine with that too. Rich woman wants to marry me? Fine. Cool. Done. Hey, it's like, oh, see, I want to become a vanquish dealer. I have my license. That? There's a dealer application on the website. There's a dealer application on the website. There you go. I've created, I, because that was a question I used to get all the time. So I made an application and put it on the website to solve most of my problems. 5K buy in, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> <gasps> Somebody wants a bag of your chest hair. Not a problem. Ooh, unlimited supply. Yep. There we go. So, what are your thoughts on a pork belly chassis? It sounds delicious. Um, is that the super flexy one? If so, uh, not for me. If I become a dealer, can I be prospect? What are you saying? What? Uh. -uh. I kind of, wait, is it? I don't, just, I don't know. I didn't see what the one you're talking about. I can't get the vanquish driver and the TBH wheels though. It's oh, just laughing face. Drill them out. Just drill out the, or you can, uh, $500 Nicole, a subsidiary application for sure. <laughs> yeah. For um, sure. <laughs> yeah. Just drill out the wheel or if you need to, you can modify the hex, like just modify stuff. It's not that big a deal. You can, everything can be replaced. Everything Don't be scared. Okay. Apparently millionaires are considered porn. You know what? Honestly, yeah, I was going to say. Like. Millionaire oh, back home. Billionaire in California. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can only imagine the level of conversation I'd be able to. <laughs> Oh, drug dealing drug from Phoenix. What? Oh, if I become a dealer, can I be prosecuted? Uh, that's the, I didn't see, I could never see the one you like started to read and then saw. I think they have trillionaires there. Ugh, that True. sounds like too much work. I feel like Jeff Bezos and like, you know, they're like a lot of work. I'm not in for that. I'm like, you know, you need to live your own life. <laughs> I can do laundry yeah. and the rest of it, but no. I think you're safe. We don't, we don't often cross paths. Floyd Jones is here trolling me tonight, like per usual. <laughs> What's your favorite axial vanquish? I'm sorry, vanquish axle setup. Uh, oh, Alex said laundry is all I need. Probably D44s. Um, probably. Otherwise, I would say F10 portals at this point. Like those are my, they turn so well. It performs so well. Oh, you know how to clean things. You want some practice? Really? <laughs> Those are fighting words in this house, <laughs> just so you know. Everyone's like, yeah, it's never a fight about anything. <laughs> like, whew. You, uh, you dust this year? <laughs> <laughs> Those are... That kind of thing is the, if you want to get to me, then say that, <laughs> say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Josh, are the VXT too good for class two and comps? Yeah. They're what I'm running currently for that. I want to do F10 portals on an S6 10 three hood idea. Um, I think that it will work just fine, but I have not done that swap myself. Sorry, this is an old question, but can the F10s be swapped into a 10.3 without custom links? Without custom links, I doubt it because the pan hard on the F10s is longer than the 10.3s. The 10.3s have a stubby pan hard. Dealer app form equals lock, locked up screen. That's a bad sign, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you you, pat, better, you uh, failed the first step already. You better <laughs> give me the $500 cash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Any issues with any of the eBay sales? Um, Still kind of waiting on one. But other than that, they're all shipped. 
And good just to go. Wait, just waiting. Good to go. There we go. Those are about losing me. Well, I've got this redone. What size pinion was I running before? I don't know. That one. The big one. Was I running an aluminum pinion? No, that's got to be steel. This feels light. That's steel. Good night, Brandon. And the IRS uh, is waiting to fed sugar. Every year. Always. Womp, womp, womp. You mother. <laughs> well, the Fusion Pro won't fit with my dig servo. Mm -hmm. Waco well, said he just finished his PCX build. It eats wicked lines. This is a just a JX. Eric servo says, yeah, here. the IRS will be wanting to know why he didn't declare those 200 RC four wheel drive pins he included with my bomber purchase. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't know what's at the bottom of that box. I can tell you everything that's in this box. It's oh, all. Okay. I can tell you. Phoenix owed sixty-eight dollars this year. Way to go! Oh. <laughs> I owed I owed more than that in penalties from last year. Well, that's because you're stupid. I don't think that that's. You're bad. an idiot. If you paid your shit on time and did it, then it'll be fine. I didn't want to. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Best chew to beadlocks. Vanquish. You know, you know what I'm going to say. Um, Timothy Struven just grabbed an 18th Capra. Definitely needs some upgrades. Flip the servo mount. I'm thinking about just making a new one and running this Reef's Raw 100 Mini. Or I have a... S9570SV Fataba shorty. Scaled RC would like to know, does anyone know if it's possible to swap the C sides on an AR44 axle? I need the pan hard to come from the other side. Yes, it is. Yes. The mount might be slightly offset, but it shouldn't be that. What's in the box is more than some gems. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Even though I don't play anything that has gems. Don't you, though? Arceada, good night. See you on Wednesday. I'm about there with you. I guess I can just... I feel like I get lower and lower, though, as the night goes on. <laughs> that might actually be true. That chair <laughs> that chair has been failing. Both of these chairs, actually. Really? And freaking office chairs are so goddamn expensive. The ones at Ikea weren't super expensive. Yeah, but they got it. they're not good, either. They are I think I've got a low profile for top here, I'm gonna say. So um they, yeah, they should key up, may have to clock them a bit, but should be uh, yeah, I think that'd be fine. Um secret lab for the win. I do for me, I got to, this is a full mesh chair. Mesh back, mesh bottom. And I honestly won't have anything different in here. Um because if you sit in this room under these lights for three plus hours uh, without a mesh bottom and back, uh, things get sweaty. Um, maybe a stupid question. Are KMC 2.2s made by you guys? Uh, we have made K the KMC 2.2 tanks. Yes. I was going to say we made other 2.2 KMCs in the past as well, but yeah, we make them. Why would, yeah, I mean, anything that's like if it's sold by us, but yeah. I mean, I guess I see what you mean, like some of like the overseas stuff. But no, they're made right next to my office. Let's disconnect this guy. Right. So since not today, when are the 2.2 IFR? I thought the 2.2 IFRs went up today. That was the thing. If not, let me check the app real quick. Hold on a second. 
Um, Because they're all done and in stock. So I thought, and I told them to put them live today is why I, newer version of the app is available for download. Damn it. Sorry. Update. Um, Aaron chair is fifteen hundred, but worth every penny. I had a human scale that was like a twelve hundred dollar chair, um, and I didn't like it. There was something. It's just like, you know, some things that just weren't how I wanted. But it's just like, just even I'm fine with like. Sorry, face ID. God damn it! Hold on. Two-step verification. That is not popping up yet. All right. Sorry, I can't help you at the moment. But, um, so anyway. Yada, yada, yada. I'm really tired. Um, I don't remember where we were at. Are they meth? <laughs> meth or mesh? Pop this off. You need a UC fab mount for that setup. I think I have one of those as well, but I don't even know if that, I don't, I don't know that that would be any better. I think I would still run into the same issue. Let's see. I think I have one in a box somewhere, but I still don't, I don't think that it's the one. Jay Conus, thank you. I'm building a C2 Vanquish Builders Kit. Is a Holmes 2500 KV revolver too big for a locked in VFD twin or should I go smaller? No, no, it shouldn't be too big. Uh, it should be fine. Um, and should be good and smooth. I think I've not run the 2500 KV one though. So I'm sure that it'll still be, should still be a solid, solid way to go. All right. Uh, do you guys know when the gray tanks will be back in stock? Uh, even if it one nines or two twos, I don't know, but it, it, either way, they're just, it's just, they just keep going out for, uh, anodizing and come back. It's just a constant cycle. So it's, uh, the two twos right now. I don't know because I know that those are in like a since they just released again and they're being they're going out and selling quickly, I can't tell you exactly. But anyway. Just double check that that will give me enough clearance. It does, but just freaking barely. Oh, it's actually no, it's perfect. Like five thou or less. Jeez. That is nutty close. I think I could probably loosen up the screws on the mount, slide everything back just a hair. Yep, dealer app download is dead. Okay. I'll check into that. I hate doing it because it's like on the FTP and all that, and it's a pain in the butt, but. I'll go check it. I was unaware of that. No one's told me that. Must happen recently. Okay. One screw left. Vanquish three year, 32 pitch or 40, 48, uh, 32. This has got a, I think this actually has a Traxxas one on it right now, but, um, I run 
I run 32 on everything. 48 is not. No bueno. The only ones who run, I think nobody's kits run 48 anymore. Hasn't everyone upgraded to 32? No, Element still runs 48 because they just keep running freaking spur gears they have from like old race buggies rather than upgrading to 32 pitch like the rest of the scale world. I'm sure they'll make some excuse for why though. Oh, well, it's actually because we think that it's quite. <laughs> I've argued that one with Schultz before. Like, we have it. It's already there. It's done. It's fine. Where's my battery? Ow. Yeah. Uh, it's more efficient now. <laughs> Um, Clodbuster stock is legal in class one. Um, no. Correction, opens in Chrome. Who? there we go. I was going to say, I was like, no one has said anything to me that it has, doesn't work. So let's plug our servo in. Nicole just belched that I could hear it could hear from here Disgusting. like a like a trucker oh my god i would never i would never do that you're so gross there we go not responding so there we go so now we're centered is that what that was <laughs> They, no, they heard, they all heard you. Huh? They all heard you. No, no one heard me because that was a lie. <laughs> You're a fucking liar. <laughs> how dare you? A twisted trucker says, how dare you? <laughs> Do what? I said you belched like a trucker. <laughs> twisted trucker goes, how dare you? <laughs> well played. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, we heard you. <laughs> uh, all right. So, go. Okay, so I think we're, we should be set. Uh, what can I run straight out of the box in class one that would be the stupidest choice with no effort? You could run a Tamiya CC02. It would be legal in all ways and a terrible choice equally in every single way. Uh, what is that device that you are using to run that? Uh, this is the Spectrum little deal here. So um, you can, you plug a battery in it on one side. And then you can go down, you can see it has like servo testing, servo test step, uh, balance stuff. This is, oh, that'll just tell you the actual voltage. But if you plug it in with the balance plug, then it tells you, well, that this battery is dead. 3.1 volts per cell. So if it was charged, it would tell you. Uh, this is the new, this is the new version of this one. This is the G2. So this is the one that you would buy now. So 
old one, new one. I haven't opened that one yet, but um, what's up with all the smart battery stuff? I need dumb batteries. I'll tell you what, if they made all the sizes of the batteries I like to use in smart batteries, I would much prefer having them because it's pretty freaking convenient. Uh, you know, just like the, it'll put itself in storage mode. It'll, it's got some information. It'll tell like, I love data and it gives you some good data. Like I would prefer it. I'm honestly, I would, but it would need to be the, the number of versions that I need that they would have to make is the problem. Okay, let's get our motor re-hooked up. I'm going to see if I've got some motor washers. No, I don't. In here, also no. Okay. Regular screws and washers it is. So, I have one communal lipo. Ah, well then, Taking care of it is even better. So, you know, that doesn't make it a, a bad reason to get it. I'll tell you that. My problem is, is that I have too many. I, you know, just, and then you don't maintain them properly and they go bad from sitting in a poor, with a poor voltage, either too high or too low. You know, I charge every battery for the size that I need when I go out and then I leave them all charged like that instead of properly discharging. Where is that slightly shorter size? Did I have just one mixed in there by accident? Probably. Wait, what's this guy? That's one of them. Aha, at least I had two. So, you know, this guy started. Uh, wanted a caged IFS solid rear one eighth race buggy. Any real options for an actual race thing? No, uh, you know, like the low C. You know, the Rays, the Baja Ray or Rock Ray, Traxxas UDR, but no, you're not going to, because in reality, solid axle is not going to make a good race buggy. Um, you know, I'm not saying they can't go fast and be fun, but they're not going to be race. Um, so, you know, let's see this. You count opinions on this. Um, I kind of want to copy the LMT class one guy and run. Oh, that's a terrible idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's only a fifteen tooth. Yeah, fifteen tooth. Why did I think that was so much bigger? Okay. Um, Now, I did go from a 2700 KV to a 2300. So that's a 17. 16, 18. I think you go 18. 
Yeah, let's do an 18. No, these are all 48 pitch. It's because they're for the robots. Shit. Dang it. What do I have for? All right, what do we got here? This is 1732. This is a 20. So, oh, do I need to do the math quick? No, I remember it being pretty fat. Oh shit, I can't run 4S anymore. 20 it is. I, I always forget. That's the thing I hate about these fusions is you have to run 3S, no 4S. Which really has me Second guessing my choice to go to a fusion. Shit. Check the inventory app. I don't put pinions in the inventory. I only put like electronics and new parts that are over a certain value. Otherwise they just take forever. You you can run 4S once. <laughs> Damn it. Right. Oh. Don't let the reducer get out of the. Just this pinion away. I got a 52 tooth, 52 tooth spur. Looks like my mesh is going to be about maxed out, but still feels really good. What's the best inventory app uh, I use? Uh, I use one that's called iCollect. It's got a barcode scanner, uh, which makes adding stuff super easy because uh, you can just scan the box. Um, so I can... I can highly recommend it. It's worked great for me. Makes, you know, adding them in later even a best time. 4S Fusion would be sweet. Fusion Pro is even, is also better than the Spectrum 2300. Um, yeah, we'll see. I do think that the uh, Fusion one has a few more features. Some of the programming that they, I uh, need a little bit, a little tight there. We got a little bit of a tight spot. There we go. Now we're good. Good night, Phoenix. So doesn't the ESC only let X amount of voltage to the motor depending on throttle position? Just use a lighter touch. That kind of negates the point. And the ESC sees 100% of the voltage and then it has to kick down and reduce the voltage to certain components. So no. It only sends a certain amount, yes, in certain ways. Granted, it's taking DC input and then taking it out into a brushless motor, which is a little bit different of a setup. Um, so you, even though you were probably trying to make a joke, you're still wrong, Mark J. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, lipo cell tester, which one do you rec suggest? Just, I like this same one. It does the servo testing and the lipo testing. Uh, either that or I run one of the super cheap ones. But like this does both, so I just run it. Um, oh, and what I almost did by accident is left my adapter. The only problem is, is that I don't run. This has got a an IC charge or IC EC connector on the side. So I make my own connector and leave it in there. I took it out with the battery that time. But... Anyway, that's going to be a lot cleaner to have that way. So, um, so yeah. 
that'll be that'll be much nicer than that mess of of uh, stuff we had before. Uh, thank you to give time to answer questions, even if it's not about Vanquish. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you're a reason I bought two Vanquish trucks. Well, it's still good. Uh, yes, I will always do my best to answer questions. Sometimes the answers aren't great or good or whatever, but still. So anyway, let's do a quick reduction check where we're at. So we've got a 52... 52.20 on our spur. So 52 divided by 20 is 2.6 times the internal reduction on these, I think is 2.5. So we're at 6.5. The axle ring and pinion is 3.75 times 3.75. So we're at 24.35 to one times, uh, I've got standard gears in the back, which are 1.6. So 24.375 to start times 1.6 that gives me 39 to 1 which is a little 40 to 1 is like my so maybe I should go from that 20 down to that 18 like 40 is my is usually like where I want it like my bottom my bottom dollar I could put underdrive gears in here to get me there but like what's the what's the difference i just changed pinions yeah damn it fine should have done quick math before i usually go for 70 ish that is too high 45 to 50 keeps the motor in the sweet spot you use all of your reduction 45 to 70 or sorry 40 to 50, 45 is just like the number I say, go for 45. Um, so. All right, 17 it is. Uh, totally understood everything you just said. You've come a long way in a decade, but he still can't paint. <laughs> that is true. Want a little thread lock on our pinion. That started in there. Get her wiggled on the shaft. Uh, I just helped John Holmes a little by showing him counterfeit Holmes motors on Amazon. Yeah, it's super common. His motors get knocked off all the time on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, Josh, what coating is on that chassis? It looks like a bronze color. It is technically a copper. So there's these finishes that you can buy. It's a, it's a, uh, a true copper in a solution. So you take it and you spray it on bare steel um, and it bonds copper to steel in an actual way. So this will, this is uh, when this was new, when I first did it, it was like a bright copper. And then over the time and the, the, it has uh, gone to that like old penny, you know, that's, uh, it's exactly what it is. So you spray it on there, you let it sit, and then you uh, spray a neutralizer on it. Otherwise, it will keep trying to etch in there. So you spray, 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 and then you neutralize, and then it's it's good to go. Um, but yeah, it's just like an old penny. It actually, the one thing after like working on it for a night or something like that, if you smell your hand, it smells like you've been had a handful of pennies all night. Um, so can you polish it to a shine? Um, I mean, yeah, I guess technically. I don't know how much, I don't know what like the thickness is. I don't know how, how quickly you would rub through it. Um, so I don't know, but it's a good question. Also, I'm not much of the polishing type. <laughs> huh, kind of want to try it. Yeah, just Google it. I, I bought it back in Kansas City at the time at a place called Metal by the Foot. I bet I can find the, the, uh, stuff though let's see uh steel coating 
copper bottle. I don't know. Um, nope, that's giving me a bunch of water bottles. Steel coating with copper. No, that doesn't sound right. Fast, easy coating. Easy copy copper coating. Yeah, this is what it's called. Um, DIY copper put. Steel X patinas. I think that might be the one. Hold, please. Yep, I think this is it. Um, steel FX patinas. That It's steel, then F, then X patinas. Um, it's a super high quality website. So it's not that expensive. Uh, and then the thing is, is that you can also get like, what would you call it? Modifiers almost. So you can get this, this, and then you can get like one that's called like a rainbow finish where you spray it on there and it will kind of like rainbow the copper. Uh, so it's pretty easy. It's not that expensive. Well, some of these are. Okay. Maybe it's a little expensive, but it's a cool coating. So I think I, maybe I bought it in smaller bottles because it was not that much. I think it was only like 15 bucks a bottle when I got it. And this whole chassis took me like this much of a bottle. So anyway. So yeah. Um, so... So with SCX six wheels and tires on a one ten scale, is 76 really too much? Ooh, you'd have to like, I shoot for 40 to 50 to one on a four, seven, five. So you'd have to calculate the rollout per revolution and then backtrack that to the taller size and you'd be able to find out. Will Roos come back? Probably not. Those were the worst selling wheel of all times. just like everything. Nobody wants them until they're gone. <laughs> is it is it possible that someday they would? Sure. Always possible. But likely not highly. Okay. Good shape there, there. We set gear mesh. Why do I not even remember doing that? Feels good. Did I tighten that down? Got just enough wiggle, but like. Yeah, I'm good with that. Check for that. Wait, check that for what now? Oh, and I also lost a drive shaft on this somehow. I have one drive shaft on here. Um, do I have? Do I have a drive shaft out? Do I also? Do I have wheel weights on any of these? Negative, Ghost Rider. Um, what was I just looking for? Shoot. Drive shaft. Ah. Oh, I just made a drive shaft box, didn't I? I remember doing that. Aha, drive shaft box. Success. 
I knew I remembered. I was like, you know what I need? I need a drive shaft box. Memory like a steel trap. Unless it's short term. <laughs> Roasted air creeping into the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just saying. I remembered, it just escaped me for a second. My brain started on a secondary path. Stuff. If you put overdrive in the front axles and, and, and portals and underdrive in the rear axles, um, what if you put overdrive in the front axle and portals? Well, then your gear ratio gets way wide, like crate way too wide. Um, you would need to put underdrive in the front axle and overdrive in your rear axle to try and get closer to a reasonable, reasonable range. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at like 60 plus percent overdrive or more. So, uh, yeah, watch out for that. Especially, don't put them in the wrong order like that. Metal drive shafts? Yeah, these are, uh, this is a spare incision shaft I had. I don't remember what I needed. I had in another build that I needed a single drive shaft, but for some reason I felt like I had one, and I did. And even, well, not on both sides. I was going to say, I even put extra set pins in these, but... So I'm still at the all parts box level. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I have, you know, I have a lot of shit in here that <laughs> I've got to, I got to do something to say somewhat organized. I, I actually remember when I lost this drive shaft. It was at Axial Fest in 2019. And I was running the Proline Tweels. You guys remember those? I remember seeing them. They never released them, but they were the wheel, like the honeycomb style. You know, wheel foam thing. Does too much overdrive put strain on the trans? Put strain on a lot of things. I mean, basically, it's a bind. You're putting the whole car into a bind. So you'll strain drive shafts, axles, gears hexes, tires, transmission, the motor and electronics are absolutely the biggest concern though. You will fry some electronics if you're not careful. So it's just like the worst, like, you know, under gearing or over gearing is a thing, of course, because it puts too much load on a motor and electronic. Well, that's exactly what you're doing. Come on. I do do love a cage truck, but I tell you what, the uh, pain in the butt part of working on them versus a regular frame rail chassis build is next level different. You've got to be prepared for this kind of pain level. <laughs> there. Trans is in. We'll get these locked tighter than put in. Any progress on the moon buggy? No, not really. Not lately. Um, I'll get back to it. It's another one of those ones that I'm just not in a hurry uh, to do. I just want to make sure that it's all done very right. Like you can get them together or you can get them together like, right. Mm. 
right. No DeWalt. No, nah, not for like four screws like this into the bottom of a trans or... I'm not doing anything that's so much wrenching that I would want my DeWalt out. What wheels or tires are going on this rig? I've got a set of crawlers, which you like. You have to run crawlers on this because that's why, why this truck is important to me. It's because it was released on the BFG ads with these tires. And then I've got orange tanks with black rings and black scale hardware. Is that red Loctite? It is thread lock that is red, but it is non-permanent or blue Loctite if it was Loctite brand. Does that answer your question? Move that up a little. Orange, who would have thought? I don't run a lot of orange wheels, right? The moon buggy technically has orange wheels on it, but they won't stay on there because I don't, I don't like the way they look. They're a set that was like Cerakoted and I, I don't think they look good. So how do I fly to Denver with batteries? Great question. Uh, you need to carry them on. So they need to be in your carry on. I suggest taking your batteries, putting black electrical tape over the end, just a, a little, one little strip of black electrical tape over the end, and then taking those and putting them into a Ziploc bag, clear Ziploc bag. And then just for my safety and everybody's safety, I put that whole Ziploc bag in a LiPo bag. That is uh, the way to go. So protect the ends of the batteries, put them. It, it basically says the reason that you protect the ends is because in the TSA rules, it says that like battery connectors must be protected. Um, and it's very open ended with their, their language. It's very easy to fly with lipos. You just have to carry them on. They cannot be in your checked bags. Beyond that, there's nothing to it. It's simple. Put them in your check bag. Tape the end, go with you. Put them in a bag. Um, cause there is some verbiage with that. Put them in a bag and then put them in a lipo sack just to be safe. Um, there we go. I guess I got to take this end of the drive shaft off because I forgot to connect it like an idiot. So. There's also a milliamp limit as well per battery. Yeah, but it's way high. Um, it's not something you really need to worry about for most RC stuff. Like I couldn't travel with the TRX 4000 battery, but for normal stuff, you're, you're not, there is no, uh, no concern. Especially if you're going to a comp, cause you're going to have, you know, 400, 600, 800, maybe 1100 or 1300 milliamp batteries. You're not going to have great big basher packs or anything like that. It's 140 watt hours. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot. The TRX 4000 battery is 666 watt hours. <laughs> okay. Other side of my drive shaft. I do need to grab another set pin. I haven't had, I haven't had this truck up and running for a minute. It has been a while. Um, I used to ship mine to the motel the day before the flight until they came up with, uh, with standard ruled. 
that was the thing. But also shipping them is like, you gotta be ground, you know. <laughs> uh, they gave me shit for soft case batteries because they thought they looked like a bomb. So I had to read the TSA there, rules from their side. So yeah, uh, I'm usually as uh, versed on the rules as the TSA people by the time, you know, I get there. I'm a, I like to read the rules. I'll follow the rules. Um, so, actually, I think the TRX 4000 is around 80 watt hours. No, it's 666 watt hours. It is uh, 30,000 milliamps at whatever it is. But yeah, no, it says right on there, 666 watt hours. 80 watt hours is pretty low in like big, you know, this is a 3000 milliamp and it is 30 C. So three times 30, 90, 7.4 volts times amps, right? Yeah. So, uh, oh, it's actually, yeah, right there. 23 watt hours. This one's 23. So little battery, 23 watt hours. So. All right. Now, I think I'm just gonna put the wheels and tires back on this so I can push up and down on the suspension and make myself happy. And then I'll start looking. When do Colorado tickets go on sale? Moose Jaw. Um, I put a link to the group on the scale news. Because I, th I mean, it, I think it could be Monday. Um, so keep an eye on that group, see what they say. But I think it might be Monday, and I could see tickets going fast. So shit, shoot. So you prefer portals over straights? Not always, um, and. A lot of cases, I prefer straights over. Um, Performance-wise, like my comp trucks lately have all been portal. Um, but, you know, it's uh, like my scale trucks, the ones that I like you know, that's not most of the time I prefer those to be straight axle. So, you know, but if you got that truck that you just really want it to perform well and, and look a certain way, then portals are still great. And you know, this truck should technically be straight axle for like how the real one was, but what I would like to do is put a VFD in here and I'm thinking that I might do that. I might have the subframe cut off this and modify it all for a VFD. Maybe a VFD and F10 portals. Okay, so get rid of that guy. There we go. That is gonna be solid. So much cleaner. Now, the real story is will what I should probably do is take out this Fatava steering servo and put in a direct power so that I don't have to worry about the BEC of this thing trying to run these two servos. That's what I should do. I don't know if I'll do that tonight, but thinking out loud. But without the ESC up there, that frees that up. I'm gonna rip out this rear section too and redo it, make it look a lot nicer. It's got a 3D printed and painted. How did I attach that? 
Oh, look at me. Look at me getting all fancy. I think. Did I? I did. Wow. So I screwed the lid on from the bottom. So I was able to design it with a clean top. Surprising myself from five years ago. Oh yeah, so there was the design. That was my fuel cell lid. It was also resin printed, it was just painted. And then I recessed this screw to hold the rest of that. There's that drops out. Best, best brushed crawlers motor for the Phoenix. Thinking about building my wife a kit. She doesn't need brushless. Well, then don't say best because best, the best brushed crawler motors are as expensive or more expensive than brushless. But if you're just looking for like a good brushed motor that you're not going to have to work, just like my one of my favorites is the uh, Holmes Crawlmaster. 13 turn expert motor. So it's a rebuildable brushed motor. Uh, the 13 turn, it's a five slot. So it, a 13 turn is about the same as a 27 turn standard or typical brush motor. Uh, but since it's a five slot, it's super smooth. Just super, just crawls nice. Um, it's a great choice. So 540 can for sure, don't go 550. So 540 can, Crawlmaster Expert, 13 turn. And then just throw a 1080 ESC on it and you're set. Um, but you get a rebuildable motor then, much nicer than like the, the sports or anything like that. A uh, little bit more money, but not brushless money. Or pick up the SE, which is brushless, but still pretty cheap. Fusion SE is what I'm referring to. Okay. And now, man, I got these all, all these complex curved freaking parts designed in here. And I didn't even have a 3D scanner. I mocked up this cage design all by hand and then designed my parts. Oh, and that was also my radiator mount. Dang, that was cool. Harley Designs Crawl Team? No, thank you. I do not. I do not have the desire to <laughs> Fusion SE is 80 bucks. Yeah, like for for 80 bucks, you're probably less than a motor and ESC brushed. Yeah. Can I get it out of there in one piece or I got it? Yes. Success. Oh my God. That's what I thought. So. This was the radiator mount setup I had in there. Kind of kicks it back at an angle. You know, these were flat about like that. And then it kicked the radiator back. I thought that was a good look, but you guys will probably recognize that radiator. It's the one that you know from the origin and stuff. But actually it's also uh, resin 3D printed. You can see all the little resin marks from the backside. And I had installed this in this truck uh, before the uh, VS410 Origin, where this radiator was first seen, was out. And I remember like someone in the videos commented, like, hey, what radiator is that? And I was just like, ah, it's just one I 3D printed. Uh, don't, don't worry about that. It's no big deal. Just 3D print, which it was. But 
it was for something that was coming. But because it's a resin print, it's stupid heavy. And almost broken. Yeah, I know. So, getting her st like, Did we make progress tonight or not? Because I got shocks and drive shafts and everything back on it. A new servo in there. Should probably swap out that servo. Um, but the rest of it all got torn apart and thrown away now. So like, was this, was this a good idea? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like I want to 3D scan this whole cage. And then draw it up so I can make all my parts, but better. So I never, I, re I rarely ran a front hood on this before. But after uh, last December, not, not a month ago, but 13 months ago, is when I made the buck, me and Gene Boyd made the buck so that we could pop our own hood. And that's what this one is. Because the hood that was on the full size carnivore in the the day uh, was a narrowed Hummer style hood, and that's what this is then supposed to replicate. Um, you know, this is like the vent section here. Um, these are like those you know the areas on the side of a Hummer. It's so hard with so there and there, um, but yeah. Go on there. And then I need to come up with the design of how I'm going to do the new panels or paint or whatever it's going to be. Hardened VFB gears, ideal for the comp truck or stock inner gears, good to go. Uh, definitely get the 21% overdrive gears, Joe. That's a, that's a first thing. Oh, I can take that guy out of there. That little guy. We don't worry about that little guy. Um, Fusion SE 2-in-1. 1200 KV is the motor you're referring to. Is that, I think they have a faster one. Get the faster one if they do. 1200 is pretty slow. So if they've got like that 1800, that's probably the way to go. Uh, would you say UC Fab is the best metal cage out right now? Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely. Um I've owned a lot of different people's metal cages and things like that, but yeah, it's 1800. Yeah, there get the 1800. Don't don't get the 1200. Um and some people just, you know, they are very expensive metal cage, but it's for a reason. They can only make so many and you pay for a premium because they are the best one. You know, someone who's selling them for $300 is they're available for $300 because that's what they have made their market to sustain. And that's just what it is. If they were worth more, they'd sell them for more. But, you know, there's lots of, there's lots of cage fabricators out there. There is. Um, and, you know, Sometimes the new guy that's coming out is going to be the next UC Fab. And they're not yet. So like his cage is maybe you can buy for 300 bucks, but you know, that won't always be the case. And then there's some guys that have been doing it a long time and they're available for 300 bucks. It's like, well, it's because it's worth 300 bucks. As far as like builders that are available, you can go buy one. It's, I don't have an answer for you there. Even UC Fab, like you can't, you can't just go buy one of his. You have to get lucky and get one when they're available or get on a list. Yeah. Any maintenance for brushless motors that you do? I don't. I just run them until something happens that I can't run them any longer. <laughs> Um, no, seriously, that's all I do. Ain't no ripper though. Rippers are different for a reason, but you know, like I'm not saying that 
this truck is worth the same as a ripper but you know for me for it to leave this place it'd be you could probably about buy a ripper do you know what happened to lou from matzilla um do i know exactly no um do i have my own assumptions based on a lot of personal dealings and such with Lou, I do, but I'm not the place to air that. But yeah, he was a, you know, Lou's, I liked Lou's trucks. I had a number of them. Um, they weren't the same level of truck, but they were great for what they were and they were worth what they cost, you know? Lou and I had like, we, we had a falling out in 2016, uh, late January or early February. Yeah. I remember it well. I was very unhappy. Um, let's see what else we got. More panels. I don't know that I really need to. Oh, yeah. These panels are Lexan. So I'll probably make aluminum. Probably make new aluminum ones. The The roof skin in its dented and mangled fashion, I think, will stay just like it is. We got some wiring to clean up. I know I can do. I can do such nicer things now with the. Uh, like I, I can do some nice machined carbon fiber panel up there, but I don't know that I want to because I feel like maybe this truck is just gonna get a VFD. I'm gonna make it, make it happen whichever way I need to. I think that that's what needs to happen, so. But I needed to get it to a point where I could stare at it and, you know start pushing it around so I could see what I felt. Maybe, it, you know, maybe it doesn't need to get cut up. Maybe this one stays like it is. Maybe I need another, another truck that's exactly what I am looking for. So, um, so yeah, RC Speedy is another one. I've owned some of them, or I owned one of them personally. Um, and then I've had some experience with some of his newer ones. Uh, the work is done pretty decent. His design is not very good as far as like geometry and things like that. And, you know, when I, when I had one that I felt was flawed badly, there was really nothing that could be done through him. It's just like, is what it is. So like for me, I won't buy another RC Speedy. Um, the, you know. uh, yeah, I didn't like the moon buggy. Um, and I know he's changed that since, uh, but I don't think it looks as good now. But I don't know. Uh, I forgot who made the bug cage. Looks killer though. Uh, I don't know either. Just getting all my wires tucked in to where they're at least bundled in the same spot. Should at least put my panels back on. It'll make me feel a little bit better that it's together. What's your go-to steering servo for a crawler trail truck? Um. Uh, I mean, kind of. You know, I'm, I kind of over servo everything just, just to death, really. Uh, 
What weight shock oil did you put in there? I put in 50 weight, right? Did I put it back already? I think I put in 50 or maybe I put in 60, somewhere in there. So. Right. Get a couple of screws in here. Yeah, I mean, I do want to get a VFD in here, but what I should do is just get this back together. Just leave it like it is. It's fine. I don't really need to take this and just have it cut up to redo that. Even though I, you know, I'd love to put F10 axles under it and all that. It's one of those things like I could send this off back to Kyle to have him do that. And it, when something like that, when, you know, you send it to somebody and say, here, this is what I want to do. Like it could be a year. It could be a year before I get it back. And I don't, I would never like when, <laughs> if you ask for something like that and you send it to somebody, you don't act, you just say it and he's like, okay, well, it is what it is. When I see it back, I see it back. So, you know, it's like, yeah, granted, I haven't touched this truck for a year because I made that hood a year over a year ago. If you're going to VFD, build another one and change it all the what you want. There's not, that's the thing. It's like, there's nothing on this I want changed. Other than the fact that I'd like a VFD and I'd like to run F10s. And it's like, there, it's such a simple thing or such a simple difference compared to where it is to where I would want it, that it is a reasonable change. Because if it was much more involved, I would 100% agree. Like, don't, don't do that. Just get another one. Do something new, whatever. But uh, where could one suggest the cheapest but hard? Uh, I mean, you could suggest it here, but <laughs> whether or not that affects the chances of it happening, that's a different story. Let's see. Uh -huh. Hey. Interior. This interior is one I wish I could find still because it was a larger interior than a bomber. Um, it's uh, Phoenix. What are you doing back? I thought you were went to bed. This was from the HPI C1 Apache. They were much larger. I felt like they were a little bit better, a little bit better size wise than what we have now. But he's getting pretty hammered. This thing has, this was in, in, I don't even know how many, how many trucks before it got modified and put in here. The, the rear pinch mount for this was in that fuel cell setup. So obviously you had to redo that. So that's about there. He sits high now cause I had to put him up above the tube. So he should sit a little lower right now. His head is resting against <sighs> time to scan him. I know it almost, it almost wouldn't be that bad. You have a vacuum former. I know. Just interior stuff is such a bitch. It's simple enough, though, that, you know, I suppose I could make it flat to the side of him so I could modify as needed. Um, yeah, 
interesting. The ones there now are fine though. I can see those now. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's on it. <laughs> I was like, wait. I'm trying to figure out what replacement swing arms I can get for the bomber I got from you. Uh, the, I know those were twin hammers arms and not a bit. Yes, that's everything else is long. Yeah, so twin hammers is exactly the thing. Um, the ones on there now are fine. You can see it. the twin hammers arms actually hold up really well. So I'm guessing you'll be good for the long run but otherwise twin hammers arms can be pretty hard to find aftermarket the good a good ones anyway the vanquish ones are super tough we don't have any more we actually had like we had like four or five sets left we had stopped running them we don't have the machine even that they were programmed on you know and they sold pretty slow so like they, they wouldn't be something to bring back but we had like those last five sets and i told uh Korean, I'm like, hey, send those in, send those in gold, like just gold trailing arms. And I think I have them here. Oops. Um, I think, well, I saw them, but it was just the brass part. Hmm. Maybe, maybe they're in a different box. looks so cool <laughs> uh -huh. ah. I just staple them. But look. Like straight gold trailing art. Like, oh, looks so good. They're so rad. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the difference in the two UC Fab cages? Just style of cage? Style of cage, geometry, size, even. I can, uh, I can grab the other one. Oh shit, it's 9.40. I still have to work out. Because that's what, that's my level of dedication. Now. Um, have you ever heard of the, the Wim Hof method? No, I have not. What is the Wim Hof method? I'm wondering if I'm going to, uh, Regret asking that. Yeah, you still had to ride your bike. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Look it up. Okay. Uh, and you said which one is better? Uh, I mean, I don't think one. they're. I mean, they're really just such different cars. One's not better than the other. They're just very different. If I would say which one is more special to me, I would say this one. But so, uh, these actually both have the same axles on them right now, but. The size of the cage, this is a much smaller cage. It's made to sit a little bit lower. Um, you know, it's, uh, again, it's, it's mainly style. And this has considerably different suspension geometry. Overall separation between everything is gonna be uh, much lower here. 
especially on the bottom. And yeah, this one was modeled after a car that was designed in the early 2000s or maybe even the late 90s. It was designed by a company called Avalanche Engineering. Um, and things were just built a lot different then. Back then, trail buggies, they had these deep subframes from like the Nerf bar on the side to the bottom of the skid. There was just, there was a lot of distance in here. And that, that even went into the, the 2010s. Uh, whereas now, more modern trucks, you know, more capable off-roaders, there's very little distance between the, the rock rail area and the bottom of the skid. Uh, you know, it's the great big lifted, like that's not, it's not the capable crawlers. It's not how they are. Um, and it's just a difference in, in the times and how things have evolved. So this was modeled after something that was an older style, even though in RC, these will prob probably perform pretty similar but this one will still probably outperform it just in overall size and being built over kind of a more even between when I built this and when I built this being a little bit more modern setup. So, you know, so yeah, there we go. Um, that's it. It's nine 45. I gotta go work out. That's it for tonight. There you go. You got two UC Fab trucks. Good night, all. We'll see you guys. Depending on when else I put something out there. Um, maybe sooner. You never know. Later.